Good morning, Soldier Boy here, and welcome to Cyberpunk 2077. This is our first time starting it. Um, we haven't played this before. This recently won the public vote, and we begin today. We didn't quite get the Platinum in Avatar last week. When it got to that point, I just thought, it's, it's getting tedious, and when, when a, anything gets tedious, I'm not, I will just stop. There's no point pushing yourself too hard to try and get through anything that's tedious. So I thought, okay, we're coming back to it when the DLC releases. So we can always try and get the remaining stuff when DLC is out. So we will wait until that. But today, Cyberpunk begins. Now, a couple of things with Cyberpunk for myself. Um, I've never played it. I've never watched anything about it. I don't know anything. It is completely blind, as always, to be fair. I've got really good at staying away from spoilers and things. Um, so that's one thing. Um, and number two is I've got no clue what it's about. Now, there's a couple of things I have done. Uh, I've gone into the options first thing. I've disabled all copyright music, so we shouldn't have an issue there. We're going to get, get an issue for violence, I'm pretty sure, so it's not going to make much difference in that respect. But we shouldn't have any copyright issues because I've disabled copyrighted music. I've turned the volume of the music down because, for me, I think sometimes music in games can be a little bit loud. I do like it because it's atmospheric. You know, music adds a lot to a game and its atmosphere, but I do like to turn it down. But yeah, we've disabled the copyright music, so that shouldn't be an issue. We'll get other issues, I'm sure, with other things. This is quite an adult game, which we've done those these kind of things before. You know, Assassin's Creed, you lock limbs off and stuff. There is nudity. I have left it on currently, depending how bad it gets. Uh, we may have to turn it off, but I'll leave that to you guys um, to whether we should turn the nudity on or off. It doesn't bother me in the slightest. Um, but I know we, we have younger people join us sometimes, so I am very conscious of that. Um, as is a blind playthrough, please, no spoilers. Always happy to have hints and tips, but no spoilers, please, as always. And, yeah, I think that's it. So as I say, this isn't something I ever looked at. I know I know about its launch was bad, and there was lots of complaints, and, and over the time it's been out, it's improved massively. Phantom Liberty is the DLC. We have got the DLC as part of buying Cyberpunk, so we got the, I want to say the Enhanced Edition or the old, or whatever it was, we got, so we got the DLC come in with the game itself anyway. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to expect. I kind of, I'm expecting quite a dark story, I suppose. Um, but yeah, it's you guys voted for it. I always try and put things on the vote that I wouldn't generally look at because it's always nice to try something new. Um, and there's always, generally every game we've, I've always said I'd never play, but added it to the vote and you guys have voted for it, I've enjoyed. So hopefully this will continue in that vein. I don't remember if I checked the sound or not. If I didn't, apologies. No, I didn't. It's all good though. Right, let's crack on. Let's start. I don't know. I don't know if you have to design a character straight away. Uh, it's a regular start. Start from the beginning without skipping content. Phantom Liberty will come available once you progress. Okay, Phantom Liberty will do last anyway, as it's DLC. It's a regular start. Uh, we always play on normal. I do everything on normal just because that's just the, the standard, I suppose. Uh, enemies will have what are the options. The right choice of players who just want to sit back and enjoy the story. Combat will not pose a challenge. Enemies have all tools at their disposal to take V on. For the most part, only enemies at a high level will pose a significant challenge. Combat will be substantial challenge. The effect of perks... Wow, okay. Buckle up for a serious challenge. Caref careful character development and clever use of items, game mechanics, and environment will be necessary. Okay. Well, we always play on normal, so I'm more than happy to. I just like reading what it actually puts for the other options because... It's quite always interesting, I find, to how hard, very hard is, essentially. I, okay, I don't know any of the, So what we generally do with any playthrough we do of any game is I try and play it as naturally as possible. So we try and make choices based on a natural choice. Um, that's generally how I've always done everything. So we've got to pick a life choice. Some events and dialogue options are going to be different depending on your choice. So Nomad... Roaming the Badlands, looting scrapyards, riding, raiding fuel depots, life on the road wasn't easy, but growing up in a nomad clan has its perks. Honesty, integrity, 
and a love of freedom. Qualities that few in Night City possess with not, no amount of money can buy. I like that one. That's quite cool. Uh, they say if you want to understand the streets, you've got to live them. Gangs, fixers, dolls, small-time pushers, you were raised by them all. Down here with the low of the jungle dictates... Sorry, down here the law of the jungle dictates the weak, serve the strong. The only law in Night City you have yet to break. Few leave the corporate world with their lives, fewer still with their souls intact. You've been there, you've bent the rules, exploited secrets and weaponized information. There's no such thing as a fair game, only winners and losers. I'm assuming, and again, we don't look at trophies until the story is done, that if you, to really get the whole experience, you need to play a playthrough of each choice, I would assume. I want to, I want to go nomad. I don't know why. I kind of like the idea of being a nomad, to be fair, roaming the badlands. More than a street kid, to be fair. And a corpo just sounds... Yeah, no. Do you know what? Let's go Nomad. I like the idea of it. As I say, we try and make natural choices. Let's go Nomad. Uh, body type. Male. I generally always try and play as myself, as most of you guys know. I don't care for customization. All this stuff doesn't bother me in the slightest. Um, more than happy to keep the face. I don't like the hairstyle. But again, I'm not that fussed. I just want something normal. Uh, yeah, that'll do. Hair colour, though. Do you know what? Let's do that. As I say, I'm not fussed. None of this stuff bothers me. I don't really care about cosmetics and the likes. So and none of this really bothers me in the slightest. I know people create a character to look like them. Um, but genitals on or off. I knew that was an option. I've been told that genitals was an option. We're not touching it, admittedly. Um, yeah, I'm done. I'm, I, you know, as I say, I don't really care what I look like in games. I know it says looks are everything, but to me, that's fine. It's kind of like a Geralt kind of look, I suppose. Uh, next. What are these? A customized attributes. Okay. So we're going to tell me what each one does. Set of skills. Both attributes and skills provide different bonus depending on the style of play. Skill levels increase your performance activities. Maximum level of skill is limited by the level of the attribute it belongs to. The maximum level of skill is limited by the level of the attribute. Okay. Uh, it doesn't actually... Oh, it does tell us. So body determines your raw physical power. Progressing it improves your proficiency with shotguns, light machine guns and blunt weapons. Also enables you to open some doors by force. Rip off turrets and use intimidating or solo trained dialogue choices. I like that idea. It's quite cool. Intelligence uh, determines your net running net running abilities. Progressing improves your proficiency with smart weapons and allows you to unleash your full potential as a net runner. It also enables you to access the local subnets and show off your knowledge of the net in dialogue. Reflexes determine your move maneuverability ability and ability to evade enemy attacks. Progressing helps you improve your proficiency with assault rifles, submachine guns, and blades. Uses advanced movements. Also, make enables you to make quick, observant remarks and dialogues. Technical ability determines your techy know-how. Progressing improves your proficiency with explosives and tech weapons. Allows you to be compatible with high-end cyberware. It also allows you to bypass some locks, override devices, and exhibit tech-savvy knowledge. And cool. I am definitely not cool, <laughs> although I like the idea of it. Cool determines your assassination skills and stealth abilities. I like that. That's that's me all over. Uh, progressing it improves your proficiency with precision rifles, sniper rifles, handguns, throwable weapons. It also enables you to use advanced, stealthy perk abilities and subtle or street smart dialogue choices. Generally, I like sniper rifles. Right, we've got seven points. There's not many, is it? Um, what do I want to put them in? Like the idea of strength, I think that's a good thing. I don't know how much it matters what they are to start with because I'm assuming you'll level them up as you go. I want to go up to cool as well. Intelligence, I think, should be good. We should put that a little bit higher. Uh, I don't know what technical ability. Bypass some locks. I like that. Uh, reflexes means we're a bit slow, doesn't it? I'm not worried about that. Let's do. Let's do that, and let's go that. And take that um, go that way. So in theory, strong, intelligent, stealth. 
I might have made the complete wrong decision doing this, but as I say, we try and do a thing naturally. Right. Alias is V, our difficulty is normal. We're a nomad. And there we go. I'm guessing we'll gain more points. Yeah, points can be freely. Yeah, so we'll gain more points as we go to upgrade those. I think we're good. I take it I've got no tech so far, no implants or anything. I'm assuming. As I say, I, I don't really know the story as such. All, I know, obviously, we're a character called V. I, I think we work for the police, but I could be completely wrong. Um, that's about all I really know. As I say, this wasn't a game I looked at when it was due for release. Which was a good thing, to be fair. Considering. There we are. That is us. Uh, remove patch. Ah, okay. I wonder what patch meant them. That was our motorcycle gang, I assume, or a nomad. You said it was nothing serious when I came in. You said you were sure. Right, this is obviously where we learn everything. First time in Night City, pay close attention to the tutorials to learn more about the basics. You're already an experienced big edge runner. Feel free to disable hints. We'll leave it on. As I said, I've never done this before. We don't quite know what we're doing. Uh, go to the database anytime during the game, access tutorials, read on the most important topics. Perfect. Movement, Guess I was wrong. as always. Can always look for another <laughs> shop where they won't ask a lone nomad why okay. he's hugging the border. Usual thing, moving around. Go and talk to the mechanic. Oh, okay. Oh, you have, okay, it's okay. Check engine, step aside, I'll handle it. I'm going to You're pay you what we're doing. I'll check the engine myself, though. That's fine. Step aside. What? Got any idea what to do? <clears throat> Hotwire, I'll bypass <sighs> the coupling. Yeah, we'll hotwire. We'll bypass the coupling. I'm this could be really the bad decision. Compressor will run on and on. It could seize up. I don't know if I'm making really bad decisions straight away. Did anyone ask your opinion? <laughs> Did anyone ask your opinion? The hell is he playing that? Right, um... Do I not put the bonnet down first? No, obviously not. Okay. Quite a cool car, happens. Though. Start the engine. How bad have I just done this? It's like I was telling you. Not shabby at all. Question's how long it'll last you. Yeah, it'll get me to Night City. I figure something else out there. Right. Uh, I'm not worried about connecting. Why would I connect to the radio station? Um, I'm looking you know, for. I don't, I don't know. Who, I don't know who Jackie Wells is, but ask the question. Someone. Jackie Wells. If there's you a name, be... I'm, I'm generally guessing we need information. So doable. It sure was. Satisficing that, not a solid fix. Might as well have used spit and duct tape. It worked. That's what matters. Exactly, it worked. Um, that's it, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Antenna on this heap don't seem like it packs a punch. Not liable to him. Someone outside. You don't say. There's someone outside. Hey, Mike. Didn't know you had a customer. Uh, Rolled in a few hours past. I I, I thought uh, he'd at least called in. Don't you swear to mine. We're gonna hash it out. We're gonna hash it out, are we? Don't you know you owe the sheriff a word when you pay his town a visit to tell him what's brought you here? Are we not a police officer? Maybe I thought we were. A cup of coffee. Uh, I'm just passing through. No need to worry. I won't be staying long. Didn't answer my question now, did you? Name's Andrew Jones. Probably heard of me. No. <laughs> I can't say that I have. That was a time dance as well, that one. Served I didn't know that. Spec okay. During the last war. Silver show guns? Ring any bells? Very I not. can't say that it does. So if you wanted to, you could stay silent like during this. Along, do you? That a nomad vehicle? 
might expect. I would, I would just assume then, based on your decision at the start of Nomads, Corpo, and Streets, or whatever it was, I'm guessing that determines how you start. What? Suddenly uh, I'm shy. I'll just fix it and be on my way. I'll just fix it and go. I've no reason to linger. <sighs> no, nope. you sure shit don't. Nothing boils my blood like a fucking stray. Where'd your clan pitch camp? Uh, what do you have against nomads? Are you one of those who believe everything? The so blue, I believe, say. is all the optional the questions. Nomads are the and world's answers. greatest evil. And yellow move no. on the on the I'm a man that well. respects order. The corpse brought us that order, and I intend for it to stay that the way. The corpse pay you and have you on a leash like a dog. You know that? Mm-hmm. But you don't want to see me bear my fangs. So I'll ask again. We don't have a clan. Where's your clan? We did get rid of a clan patch earlier, so I'm assuming we there can get no away saying we don't have there one. There is no camp. I'm here alone. I ain't buying it. Nomads always stick to their packs. My family's in pieces. That's why I'm headed for Night City. Makes you an outcast among outcasts. Sure as hell hope you'll be on your way before long. Uh, you're a real hospitable bunch. I've, in every conversation, I try I and ask all the options famous before for we carry on the Glad to see it wasn't just rumors. You're damn right we are. When people come along who know how to behave. I'm assuming that's a big ass. I saw broadcast and comms tower on my way in. My antenna's down, and I need to radio someone. What you need's to hightail it out of here without another word. Ain't got no mind to see you drifting around these parts. Got it? Uh, close the door. You like the sound of your own voice, don't you? I don't want any trouble. I don't want any trouble, but I also want to say, Hey, screw you. I'm talking to you. You like the sound of your voice, don't you? What's that, Drifter? What are you on about? Nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> yeah. Best that way. Okay, haptic controls are definitely something. Uh, steer, brake, yeah, usual ones. It's the haptic controls. That's so weird. Right, it wants us to turn left here, doesn't it? Uh, next left. I didn't expect to be driving as well, to be fair. There we go. Inside the, the, the haptic feedback on the triggers is so, is like when you try and accelerate, it's really stiff. Okay, we're here. Whatever this place is. Right, let's find out what we need to do here. So the idea was we needed to access the radio station to connect our radio to the radio someone. Okay, can we get in the door? No. So always look around when you're in somewhere new. You never know what you're going to find. Right, we're heading up. So Crouch is R3. And I'm assuming that is also stealth. Would be my assumption. What, so before we go up the ladder, what's over here? Okay. Always worth checking the past where he wants you to go. Sprint is L3, jump is X to hold down and drop is R3. Okay. I'm pretty sure I'm going to forget that. Anything round over here? No. Right, let's open the control box. It kind of just fell off. Connect to the radio station. Hello? Come in. Come in. Ah, raised you finally. Willie McCoy, it's good to hear your voice. Fee. Wish yeah, I could I'm say assuming that your choice of start does dictate how you start. Uh, then why, then why don't you? Why can't you? You've Always been in the, the clan. Options. I can't help you anymore. I never knew you to be so cautious. Try loyal. Rules are rules. The system won't work without them. It can't. Nomads get the work in these parts because it's nomad turf. 
Would it be a problem if you're still a backer? You should have stuck with them, joined up with the Snake Nation like the rest. Snake Nation can kiss my ass. I need your help. One last time. One last time. So again, what I can get so far with left I have to find a client with my payload, but I don't know where he is. Which is against how nomads normally are. Right place, right time. Don't know why yet. Though. You were there. Uh, my car broke down. My car gave out. The electric coupling. It's a miracle I made it here. Maybe the client left a message. Could you check for me? Hmm. Sure. Last time, though. I mean it. Client's name? Jackie Wells. Huh. Actually left a message. He's waiting on a farm. Flicking you the geolog data. Get into the farm then. Thanks, Willie. I owe you one. You do. Just don't get yourself killed. And don't call again. So I'm assuming we don't have any weapons or anything for the time being. I kind of, I, part of me wants to know what's in that box. But I don't think we can get across there, to be fair. Right, uh, down the ladder. I'm half expecting the sheriff to show back up and kick off, just because it's the sheriff. And he didn't seem like a friendly type. So I'm assuming we're driving to a farm then, by the sounds of it. I take it there's nothing here to pick up. Obviously, this is just a tutorial, so... I'm just looking down the other side. I, I like to explore every nook and cranny, because you never know if there's anything there. But by the looks of it, there's nothing down there. Doesn't seem there's anything you can pick up or do. All right. Well, for look, you never know. Okay, let's get in the car. We're heading to the farm by the sounds of it. To meet Jackie Wells. Now, I'm going to say it now, and I'll probably say it many more times while we drive in this. My driving in games is not very good. Racing games, not too bad. I'm not the best, but I'm not, definitely not the worst. In game, I kind of struggle. I will say the controls are weird. I say the triggers for acceleration is so stiff. How fast can we go? That's 100 miles an hour. And then 21 miles an hour. All right, we'll start slowing down now. Turning coming up, and I don't know how good this thing is at turning. 100 miles an hour wasn't too bad, though. Right, I'm assuming this is the farm. Okay. Let's go and meet Jackie Wells then, by the sounds of it. Oh, I was worried I'd have to turn to farming. <laughs> yeah, sure hope you're here for me. Uh, that's right. I believe I am. Are you... Name's Jackie Wells. There you go, Jackie Wells. V. Seems you have cargo that needs to be moved. Oh, where I'm from, you share a bit about your soul before you talk biz. Eh? Why do you got a gun out? It's kind of like a custom. Or just good manners, you know? Uh... You're a man of principle? You need a backbone, cabron. At least you'll have that left when they've taken everything else. Why don't we start with you, then? NC native, right here. Got Haywood in my blood. I've never been to NC. That doesn't mean much to me. So, imagine a place where everyone's like your bro or sis. Or a <laughs> distant cousin, at least. <laughs> I think I understand. You don't have to like each other, but it's family. That's Haywood. That and everyone's back in iron. And you? I guess one could say I'm from my own Haywood. You and me, we're gonna get along fine. Are we now? The cargo. 
What's inside? I always ask what's inside. It's the wrong. It's the wrong question to ask, but always ask it. What's inside? You sleep better the less you know. There we go. Got no idea myself, and that's a good thing. You don't know what we aim to smuggle. These are stolen corporate goods. Stolen? No. Oh, some gonk lost the crate. Some other gonk found it, passed it on. Now it's here. You know, butterfly effect or whatever. <laughs> and butterfly there's no effect. one looking for this crate. <laughs> Ain't a problem if they look. Only a problem if they find it before it crosses the border, no? Okay, let's load it up. Let's load it in the car. Oh, we will. Is he carrying it? I think he is. I'm assuming there's nothing thinking else you might not pick come. Up. Oh, actually. I got held up. And you weren't exactly easy to find. I decided to lay low, you know? That's the first thing we've actually picked up. The Nomad Code. I do, for anyone that hasn't joined us before for any kind of playthrough, I do enjoy reading everything and, you know, learning everything we can. The, the first Nomad Code. Protect and respect your clan, and especially your family. I think we've already ruined that one by leaving. You're worth as much as your word. Share with others in your clan. Respect the privacy and well-being of your clan. Never take, never put your clan in danger. Always take honest pay for honest work. The new Nomad Code. Protect your family and clan in that order. Do not steal from anyone in your clan. Do not keep for yourself that which may help another in your clan. It's hard to imagine a group less inclined to wandering than farmers, but in fact, they were the people who dawned the age of nomads. Natural catastrophes, corpses ravaged by bioplagues, armed sorry, crops ravaged by bioplagues, armed conflicts and martial law allowing corporations to speculate and privatise land. All this forced them into a life on the road. The first clans recognised as nomadic were the Aldicaldos and the, and the Jodes, followed shortly after by Snake Nation, Thelas Nation, Folk Nation, Blood Nation and Metacor, a total of seven nations. The nomad nations are divided into tribes which are subdivided even further into clans and families. Family typically numbers between 10 and 100 people. Or the biggest nation can reach up to a million. Wow. Okay. At first, nomad activity was seen as anarchist, anarchistic, subversive, mostly. As you can imagine, by corporations who quickly realised they wouldn't be able to control them. The biggest irony in all of this is, is that it's thanks to the nomads that our cities were built after the wars and catastrophes that marked the first half of the 21st century. After all, families come together to build, not to destroy. The sheriff looked like one grouchy motherfucker. Yeah, the yep. sheriff was. I don't, don't think there's anything else I need to pick up by the next. That's why it's always worth looking around the wife find, just because you never know what you're going to find. Alright, let's open the trunk. I will say that trunk is tiny. What a fat ass! I'd take. We're driving him as well then. Alright, where are we going? Are we headed out? It wasn't the start. Well, this isn't the start I expected by a long shot. Thanks for the like, I was much appreciated. I, I don't know why I expected, but I was expecting us to start in the city. But I'm assuming we chose the no transport. Of course I do. But the fixer didn't give you the job deeds. He, he did. I was just making sure. Why are we just That's making friend. sure? We're both professionals, ain't we? Me? <laughs> He's doubting us for some reason. Well, uh, maybe a little. Why is there a helicopter there? Oh, okay. Yeah, the, the other guy is doubting us for some reason. I'm not sure why. Water crossing up ahead. What now? Nothing. They'll scan us and check our papers. <sighs> okay. I'll do the talking. He also seems very nervous, the other guy, this Jackie Wells. I don't, obviously, I don't think he's done this before, but it sounds a bit. Um, okay, I was going to say, he won't let me go any further. I obviously didn't want to drive into that. Remain in your vehicle. The security check will begin shortly. I got a real bad feeling about this. I mean, the minute, uh, calm down. You know they'll notice if you're nervous, right? You have to calm down. Right, right, yeah. 
Yeah, I don't think he's done this before. Well, Hand me the manifest. Don't need to see it. Grab these. Let me see. <laughs> it's marked LOA. Perfect. What's that mean? Lost on arrival. It means the cargo is flagged as to be lost as soon as across the border. Oh, so they know we're smuggling. They're about to find out. Okay. The owner of the vehicle in the inspection area will report for further questioning. Let's ask them. <sighs> Chingana madre. What now? Well, this time Relax. Works. It's all in line with procedures. It's all part of the plan. Hey, guess you know what you're doing, huh? No nope, making up as we go along. You have bribe money? I want the customs officer to turn a blind eye to our dubious dock use. We'll need a sweetener. Do you have the credit chip with the bribe? Oh. Yeah. How'd you forget <laughs> something like that? About that. <laughs> he was trying to keep it. Right. You forgot. I think we desperate we're gonna need desperately and he's gonna keep it himself. I'll keep the engine running. In case of a cock up. Do that. Well, where are we going? Oh, this way. Follow the arrows. Immigration and customs inspection. If you're armed, place your weapon here. Are we oh, I didn't even realize we had a weapon on us, to be fair. We haven't seen anything about the weapon yet, so... I did wonder if we did have a gun. That's quite cool, though. Now, please report to room number two. Room number two. Please sit. Papers. Uh, hand over papers. I know the. I, I know the drill. I'm, I'm confident. I think. I know the rules. Everything's there. It might be. It might not be. We'll see. I might have done it a million times over. Hmm. What are you transporting? It's all in there. Because I don't know what we're transporting either. Everything? Is anything wrong? If anything's wrong, just say so. I'm sure we can figure it out. I haven't said anything yet. The question is, should I expect to find anything out of order? Let's give, let's, let's give him the bribe. There There's one additional enclosure to the manifest. Ah, yes. Remind me, you drive for which Nomad clan? Uh, I don't drive for any clan. None. No clan. I drive for myself. Bold. And none too wise. Why not wise? You know, whenever I see someone like you, I'm oh so grateful not to be on that side of the table. I feel Feelings like... mutual. <laughs> Go on now. Your associate's waiting for you in the car. We're not taking the documents with us. No, okay. We're leaving documents. We gave him the bribe. Take your personal items. Go and grab our gun back. Be careful with that toy. That toy. And welcome to Night City. Those little shits imagine Night City is some kind of paradise. I'm guessing we do? uh young naive. We made it. All good. What happened in there? Oh, he's gonna drive now, is he? Really soon. We need to get out of here. Yeah. Okay. I, I'm. I, I kind of guess you can't fail that. I'm, I'm assuming that there's no point where that's going to end badly. I would assume. You're gonna tell me what happened back there. Uh, I have a sneaky feeling. <laughs> Let's say I have a bad feeling. There was about something this. weird. Oh. Happen a lot to you? Rarely. Yeah. Smelling trouble around the bend? Drive, Jackie. Just drive. Something wasn't quite right, was it? Someone's coming our way. This does not look good. This is where we learn how to shoot by each other. Let's get out of here. On it. You are transporting contraband that is corporate property. I'm just glad I'm not driving, to be fair. Try 
trying to be accurate, but we are driving a car at the same time. Try and get the driver, ideally. Oh, that's one car down. We'll ditch him, will we? I'm a, I'm a, I don't know if we've actually got a maximum um, amount of bullets so I can just keep firing, to be fair. Where they go? Oh, they're there. The crash, it's all good, he crashed. Gotta keep moving! Ah, those pendejos are stubborn! Yeah, they're not leaving us alone, are they? Come on. There we go, got the cars down. The haptic triggers are really good with the feedback from the gun as well. You can definitely feel it when it shoots. I would assume each gun will feel differently. Um, and same as the controller, to be fair. Place looks deserted. I'm gonna stop here. Need to sort out a few things before we go on. So, I, my assumption was, and I don't know why I thought this. I thought we, we was a police officer, but obviously not. Hey, I'm yeah. tagged our asses. That what you call smuggling? Chicago! was supposed to go smooth. No problems. You think this is my fault? If you think this is my fault, at least have the balls to we say picked, so. We just picked up some trousers. I don't know yet. Is it? Border security tipped off the corporation that we have their cargo. What's the deal with these borderlies flipping us the finger as they fucking please? With no consequences. He took a risk. He assumed we didn't have a clan backing us. And he was right. <laughs> so we should have, so in theory, so we should now? have said it was part of a clan. Uh... You pay my transport fee. We've crossed the border. Now you pay me, and we go our separate ways. Uh, I ain't gonna lie. I'm a bit light. What? I can't pay you now. How can you not pay us? I have something for you once I collect my scrap for this corporal crab we're carrying. Huh. And you just figured I would sit by patiently. Actually, I wasn't gonna pay you at all. I was just gonna bust ass and disappear as soon as we crossed over, but... Well. You're all right. I appreciate. I do appreciate the honesty. To be fair, he told us he was just going to dump us and leave us without paying us. So I appreciate the honesty. I appreciate the honesty. Yeah, thanks. What now? So, what's next? Now we take a peek inside. At least he's not going to kill us. At least I'll give you that. Well, what's inside? Open it. Shouldn't touch the merchandise. I don't know if your client's going to be happy getting an open package. It usually means trouble. Fuck the client. You got to start working for yourself sometime. No commission, no middleman. And I need to know what I'm selling if I'm going to try to find a new buyer. I was going to try and find a new buyer, is he? Okay. Aw, oh, shit. It says Arasaka on the crate. We are robbing some heavy hitters. And maybe we'll make some heavy money. Mamis, a real iguana. A, oh, wow. Uh, lesser Antillian, I think. You know your iguanas. Lesser Antill what? Yeah, I watched a thing on TV about them. Went extinct like 30 years ago. They're from the Lesser Antilles. You come a long way, my scaly friend. Poke the iguana. <laughs> Just poke the iguana. You think you can make some money on it? Sure. I think it'll make us happy. Us? Yeah, partner. We'll go half seas. So he wasn't Any gonna. Any decent fixer will find a loaded gunk interested in a rare gem. <sighs> Hang on. Like so this. he wasn't gonna. It's kind of a shame, though. Gonna... I Take always wanted a pen. Luck. And now he wants to get half it. Hey, by the way, you uh got any plans for what you'll be doing in Night City? Uh, what do you ask? Why do you ask? 
Oh, good morning. How are you? You've got a lot of time and nothing to spend it on. Um, and yeah, see so, so far I'm just trying to let you get by without understand buddies. Our but don't you worry. Right let me help you find Diggs. You gotta live somewhere. It's important to have people you can turn to. You know, like uh, family. But how was your weekend, Maybe LB? you'll find your own down in Night City. Do you know what? For someone who wasn't going to pay us and just run, he's been incredibly nice. Thanks. Much appreciated. So we'll, hey, come on. It's nothing. We'll show you, you some got nice chemistry, back. you and me. Be a crying shame to waste it. Partner. Keanu hey. Reeves, is he really? Oh, cuddly little fucker. You're all right, too. You know what, Jackie? <laughs> You're not all bad yourself. <laughs> you don't mean that, mano. Okay, partner. Time to grab the lizard and scurry out of here. Okay. That was a very interesting Hello start, to say the least. Night City! Stanley here with you, and we got another day ahead of us in this city of dreams. Oh, I love this town. Love it like you might love a mother so Jackie who talked Wells you out on the steps of an orphanage up. once and now stops you to ask if you got a smoke for her. Every new day here means a hundred new arrivals. But only half these gongs will survive a year. And that's if it's a good one. And why do these peeps come to NC? Well, to be street samurai like Morgan, Blackhand, and Waylon Boa Boa. The greater the risk. So it looks like we've had a bit of time now with Jackie Wells and kind of made a little business for himself. By the looks of things. He's a boss in the room for rest. Alright, oh, you still enjoying it there, LB? That was extremely loud, to be fair. Are you, are you still enjoying it there, LB? AC's legends! Know where you'll find most of them? The graveyard! <laughs> matters not gather. where you're from, matters not where you start. What matters here is the walk you walk. In Night City, the city of dreams. Okay. Chick we're looking for somewhere in this building. It sounds like we've been working with Jackie for Probably quite a while now. With the half a year later. There. Wow, okay, so about half open, a year. Right. Speaking of which... Got you a little something. Miller Dick training shard. In case you need to uh, brush up on your dance moves. Training shard. Down for some target practice in VR? Uh, we'll do the optional question and then, yes, we might as well give it a go. Militech? Definitely can't hurt. Jack, we're talking classified military grade shit here. How'd you get it? T Bug. And our girl made a couple adjustments. I don't mind doing Why? Tutorials, Think but... she knows better? Nah, said it didn't suit her uh, style. <laughs> You'll see what I mean. Okay, let's do the tutorial. As I say, I don't really know what I'm doing. Sure. So Why the hell not? Nothing wrong with doing a tutorial. Especially if it means we're not going to die immediately. Training. This session will be recorded for subsequent evaluation. Okay. This course is designed to reinforce your fundamental combat abilities and hone your reflexes. The skills you gain here will help you survive, even excel on the battlefield. Right. I will train you to be effective with firearms, to use stealth tactics to your advantage, and to hack into enemy networks. Because at Militech... Man, Militech can't encrypt for shit. <laughs> but they clearly got drilling okay. jarheads in their blood. Now, station one, you maggot. Move, move, move. Hope. Combat basics. Let's blast through a tactical target practice program. You know, a little warm up. So, what do we got? We got a pistol. Yep, holster weapon is double tapping, reload is square. Think you find that too tough? What do you say we crank it up a notch? So our bullets are shown on the on the left. 
So a bit harder when they're moving. There we go. A few wasted rounds of that. Not bad. But it's more realistic if the target's packing iron. Quit standing around and take cover. Okay. Uh, press R3 to crouch and I'm in cover. They, it actually has you kick. We do Use drain stamina when up. we're using the weapon as well. Um, take an inhaler. When you build a consumer item, it will automatically be added to your empty quick slot in your inventory. Consumables such grenades and health items and charges can be used as long as you have charges remaining. The number of charges indicated by the number of the item. Okay. So we press up to recover health. Gunplay feels really good. It's really Head reactive. Head to training area when you're good to go. Um, the triggers you can feel the different weapons on the triggers so this assault rifle feels completely different to firing um, the pistol and you can feel it in the triggers really 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 good sounds really wrong but actually that's yeah you can really feel them with some guns but you can also Get feel the difference in the controller as well so gun I'd say it's quite reactive oh, look brought some chooms with him this time you know what to do too. Oh. And the, the kick on the weapons is also a thing as well. You can definitely feel the kick. Come on, sing your head up. That's my headshot. It's taken quite a few hits, to be fair. Aiming... I would say aiming's not simple. Aiming I'm finding a little bit tricky, I must admit. There we go, we got him. Also felt Stand so good, felt like the rumbling. Oh yeah, you can definitely feel the rumbling. Definitely feel the rumbling. Hacking's the next item okay, the that's, the, that's the gun tutorial. I will say, the assault rifle. I don't know what it was, but it felt really tricky to kind of aim correctly. And obviously the kick in the gun makes your aim go off as well, so firing too quickly, your aim is definitely off. Um, which is actually realistic to some well, degree. We doing this? Right, let's have a look at hacking then. So uh, you hold L1 to scan. Job related items that are highlighted in gold, scan two items. Scanning the highlight objects of interest in your surroundings. So L1 is scan. Computer there, and we're. Danger is highlighted red. Device to be hacked are marked in green. Interactive objects are highlighted blue. Okay. This training module will teach you how to apply to. Work a little hack magic on the screen to distract the guard. Okay, so we do that. Distract enemies. With a cyber deck installed, your scanner provides an additional interface selecting quick hacks and their targets. You distract enemies, distract the guard. You can navigate the list by going up and down. So quick hacking, duration 60 seconds. Okay. Uh, execute the square. Is that it? I thought I had. Is it still doing it? Corpo trash. Style over substance. Sneak up Good. on the guard. Now take him out quietly. Okay, so the hacking isn't is, me. I was waiting for it to be immediate, right. as you'd expect. All yours. Take him out. But actually, it wasn't. Um, it wasn't an immediate hack. There was actually it's never smart to leave behind any hacking, trace of essentially. Your so it takes time to get to that. Especially the dead kind. Yeah, we could have skipped this, but I wanted to learn these somewhere. things because I wouldn't have a clue otherwise. So I wanted to see how we do certain things. So obviously, already did, we've done some driving as well. Driving feels really good. Like it's not just press a button and you go. You can really feel the acceleration in the controller and the triggers as well. Dumping bodies, you can hide dead and unconscious enemies in certain places. Which obviously 
allows them to avoid detection. There we go. So we're gonna sneak up on this guard. Okay. Now try to take him down in one slip. The last time we had to make a choice once we actually grabbed him. Take down the gun behind the body. Uh, that one then. Uh, okay, so if there's, a, if there's a container in front of you when you take them out, you can do it that way. Think you're ready to try hacking some gonks in real time? Have fun! Okay, real time this time. So, what do we got here? There's... That's a camera. Surveillance camera. I like the fact it's not an immediate hack as well. I now, like the fact it does take time. The grenade. So we gotta do hold the guard. He's got a grenade on him, so we can detonate his grenade. Yeah, quick hack upload in progress. So you've got to wait for the hack to actually happen. Is my guess. And press execute. I'm, I'm assuming I'm going to that. Uh, oh, I had to let go. So you have to let go of the scan. I didn't really think about that. There we go. I am going to forget some of these, I'm sure. Breach protocol. Certain devices and computer terminals and network access points can be hacked directly using a special interface. Okay. We can jack in. Doing so can unlock new information, benefits, and resources. So this is actually worth doing. To breach the network, recreate its code sequence by selecting characters from the code matrix. Character select will be visible in the buffer. Breach program always begins with the first row active. Select 55. Okay. Selecting a character from the active row will then activate the column it belongs to. The active area alternates between row. Oh, okay. So when we've actually got to hack these for real, you, it does go. Okay, I get, I get how it works. And then the 55 there. We're going to gain a small amount of money from that by looks of things. Euro dollars is the money. See? Just needed to shut your brain down and follow orders in true Militech fashion. Under my wise command, you must have it. So, to access quick chain. hacks outside of training, which we haven't. So, outside of this training, to access quick hacks, we have a cyber deck installed, which we don't have currently. Militech's with quick algorithms hacks put you on a it. decent run. Got additional modules if you want to hone any other skills. Or you finish up, dealt out now. But remember, the street's not going to give you any hints or second chances. So, we can exit a simulation any time. I want to. I want to still. You've completed the mandatory portion of the tutorial. Invite? I think we. I want to finish off the tutorial properly because I want to actually learn the controls. We've done hacking. We've done gunplay. Let's do some stealth. It's always worth seeing how these things work. I think. Right. So first, let's shape up those stealth skills. I definitely think it is worth learning these things. Okay. Tag a target with your optical cyberware. Activate and then press R3. Okay, so you manually have to tag enemies. By the looks of things. After, you have to scan them first and then you can tag them. Okay. Enemies aren't aware of your presence will continue their routines. Pay attention to their behaviour patterns and use what you learn to sneak around them. Right, we've got to learn to sneak around these guys. Okay, area is hostile. So, the, the aim is not to be seen, essentially, isn't it? When the enemy's line of sight, the alert indicator will begin to fill. Find cover to avoid detection. Find cover, quick. <laughs> nice, nice. Now, move slowly towards the exit. Stay out of sight. Okay. Uh, exit's there. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go straight past his line of sight, aren't I? Stealthy now, V. You ever relive a ninja BD? Just like that. Okay. So just. 
So you're just going to get out of his line of sight quickly enough. I want to take him down, but I don't think I'm going to get seen doing so. I've been seen. I was being seen there, but I think I've done it. Nova, well done. On to the next area. So yeah, just got to take your time on areas then, by the looks of things. Keep an eye out for security systems such as turrets and surveillance cameras. I didn't even think of surveillance cameras. That's a good shout. They can trigger alarms to alert enemies to your position. Now the same thing, only with the camera. So we've got a camera this time. Um, aim at it with a scanner and press R3. We can tag it. Hostile cameras that detect you have orange scanning beams or friendly ones of green. Cameras will detect you if you enter the field of vision, but they do not register noise. Okay, so they don't make noise, but they will register us if they see us. So I'm assuming we've got to wait for the turn. And we head Back this way. Your training, recruit. Yeah. Uh, beams are gone, we're good. Nice work today. Just stand on the platform to exit this. All right, there we go. some advanced combat techniques for dessert. Then we wrap Let's finish off with advanced combat techniques and then we'll crack on. As I say, it's, I think it's nice to learn these things. I want to even think about cameras and stealth and stuff. And obviously all these things we're going to need to know. Time to get down and dirty in close quarter combat. Close quarter combat. Uh, where am I going down? Uh, okay. R2 is a fast attack. Block is L2. Dodge is circle. Okay. These are the things I generally forget. For a fast and press R2 while the previous fast act is... Okay, so press it quicker. Hold R2 to charge a strong attack, then release it to perform. Attacking as soon as you drain stamina, fast attack, strong attacks with different stamina costs. Combo attacks deal more damage with excessive hit, but at the cost of more stamina. Current stamina displays a yellow bar at the top of the HUD. If your stamina reaches critical levels, it runs out your damage output and attack speed. It's free. So stamina plays a big part then in combat. Hit the blocking enemy three times with fast attacks. He's blocking, striking to see how your attacks Let's affect him. things up from easy to normal. This next fool can block Okay, so he dodges. Yeah, look at that. Okay, only strong attacks and break a, break a blocking stance. There we go, broke his stance. Okay, we've now got to block ourselves. Dull bit coming up now. Blocking blows instead of dealing them. Okay, I think I got a good, that was a counter, I think, there. So blocking drains stamina. So you've got to get it right. And if you block perfectly, you get a counter. Oh, looks at things. Stamina costs for blocking. When you hit while blocking the attack will machine part, it's stamina. If you use stamina drops to do it, so you can't just block the whole thing, you have to fight back. Okay, block two strong attacks. They can break your blocking stance in the same way your strong attack breaks theirs. Okay, we've got to block two strong attacks here. Come on then, you're meant to be attacking me. How are we meant to block two if he doesn't, he's not going to attack? Come on. You're meant to be... I'm pretty sure you're meant to be attacking me. Right, we've blocked two strong attacks. Counter and enemy attack. So counter is when we have to block just before getting hit. This is what we did a couple of times in the blocking bit. Pretty simple. Now this it's all about timing. Footing every time he swings. Yeah. Use that. Get in there and land a counter punch. So it's all about timing. Ah. Too early. 
too early. There we go. Just timing. Choose direction. So we've got to dodge this time. I like that. V, want to see this fool? Punch How in air that next. Not? Don't let him land anything. How am I not dodging? Okay, that's a dodge. Oh. We did dodge. That wasn't brilliant, to be fair. You so we've got to defeat the enemy. You've done well in mastering the way of the fool, young apprentice. I can teach you no more. This is the part where you face your final test. He's down. Let's move on to melee weapons. Ah, melee weapons. Sword. We've got a sword. Oh, look at that. That's quite cool. The melee comments that you've learned can also be used. Okay, so we can block with a, with a katana as well. So it's the same kind of thing. You block, you attack. That was a nice counter there. A couple of hits in at the same time. So it's definitely about the counter. Good. Now show me what you've learned. You now got a range of weapons sight on the side of it. Face mix of enemies. Oh really? Oh really? How do I? I don't know how to change weapon. I need to change weapon, but I can't. Even... I need to learn how to change weapon. Because I'm a little bit. I don't know how to do it. How do I change weapon? Good stuff. Looks like you're cruising already. Hop on the platform. Okay, I obviously missed how to change weapon there because obviously being shot at and using katana wasn't ideal. So I definitely missed something there. Uh, oh, we can save game at any points. Nice. Where is controls? Control scheme. I wonder how to change weapon because I missed that completely. Uh, where are we? Holster weapon is, du is double triangle. Uh, combat gadget, fast attack. They're all the normal stuff we actually, most games use. Is this change weapon that I'm unsure of? Uh, sprint, look around. I can't... Why can I not see change weapon? Oh, triangle is cycle weapon. Okay, so it was triangle. Right, we're done. That is the tutorial complete. I think we've learned a few things, definitely. Um, there's always a chance I'm going to forget them, but I think definitely learning them helps. But yeah, it was so, a, it wasn't bad, too uh, bad to be fair. I think we did okay. The last one was a, was a poor showing. Will Kako give you any tips and tricks for the job? I'm not your mother. Just do what I pay you for. It's easy work. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's do this. Right, let's follow Jackie. Uh, trick here. achieve the this full. Way. Assign a grenade to the combat gadget. Quick slot in your inventory so you can make easy use of it during combat. Okay, so he's given us a. Is he given us? Yeah, I think he's given us a grenade there, which means I'm going to need to use it. That's the thing. I'm guaranteed to need to use a grenade, aren't I? Uh, where are we going? I think I meant to press the button. I oh, know. There we go. Incoming call from T-Bug. Sandra Dorset. Target's Biomon went mute a couple hours back. Suspected abduction. Target could have possibly flatlined already. Not sure you're in time. We're in time, Bug. We... Sure, you're on phones, but that don't make you any less part of this squad. So you could have. There was one thing I did change actually. Um, you could have these as text messages. Bug, but I, could but I wanted to, to at least see the nice. person we're talking to. You want nice, supportive? Call a damn helpline. <laughs> right, I'm expecting trouble. I'm expecting a fight here. Weapon out. Looking for 1237. 
Target should be inside, but I got zero eyes on her biomod. Fingers crossed it's not too late. Is that you? Oh, I hate this life or death shit. Hurry. Back inside. Try hacking the door. Think you can trip it on your own, V? We'll give it a go. So we can quick look at the device and scan it, L1. I would scan it, but he's kind of in the way. Is he not? I oh, know, I can use the door. There we go. Uh, open. No profile. I hate to say it, I'm expecting trouble. It's a hostile area. I say, oh, tapping L1 is also that. It highlights objects of uh, interest. What else is there in there of interest? It's a computer there. We can be used to distract enemies. I don't think we can do anything else with it other than distract enemies, can we? Yeah, we can make it make it um, some some stuff in the fridge as well. I don't know how many how much we're meant to keep taking. E flag, good morning, how are you? Also, okay, it's not that. We did pick some trousers up earlier, and I don't know if um, we can wear them. We're currently level one. Yeah. Uh, inventory. Uh, okay, so this is how you can equip things. So we've got these trousers currently. We did pick up these. I don't know if they actually... They don't look like they give you anything. You can, um, but it's all about weight, so we can sell them at some point, I would guess. And they do have a weight, so we're only able to carry a certain amount up there. Um, and it tells us how much money we have as well. That tells us how many street, how much street cred we have. So this is our current cyberware. We've got very little, obviously. We've got a Militech Powerline Mark One, which allows us to perform quick hacks, and that's it. That's only tier one. Only got a pistol so far. Yeah, that's all we've got no attachments to it there's quite a lot it looks like you're going to be able to change and do as you go crafting we haven't really looked at crafting yet i think that's a, probably a little way off to be fair does that say his favorite taste v's favorite t-shirt <laughs> i'm not too bad thank you e player um yeah not too bad Thanks for like what I was much appreciated. I'll, shall I let you into a little secret? And I haven't told anyone this, mainly because it doesn't bother me and I don't really care. It's actually my birthday today. Another year older. Uh, one thing we haven't done since we started is save. Um, I do love a manual save. I hate an auto save. I love a manual. Right, let's go. I think we've picked everything up we can. What's in here? Nothing else in here of interest. Are we no. fucking late? Is that her? Is that our target, V? Uh, yeah, that doesn't look good, does it? Sandra Dorset's protected under Echelon 2 Corpo Immunity. Our girl's top shelf. Yeah, she's dead. This one's packing black market Zeta Tech repros. Typical back alley fix-ups. Not our lucky gal. Let's keep a looking. Oh, it's not, that's not, not her. Okay, it's not her. I thought that was the first one we were looking for, but obviously not. What's this? Uh... Emergency on demand. Thank you, Pat. I didn't say it for anyone to say happy birthday. I just said it because I've kept it to myself. Um, emergency on demand. How did it happen? When and why did we as a society decide that human life is a commodity, a luxury? My mother passed away at 45. She still had decades of life to live until it was all stolen from her, a common pneumonia. If she had held even the cheapest trauma team policy, she could have been cured within an hour. But she couldn't afford it. My mother died five months before the scheduled appointment of her family petitioner. Wow, okay. So you have to obviously have a, um, like an insurance, essentially. The idea of privatised healthcare is deeply ingrained in their public psyche. Already in 2020, there was a widespread consensus of €500 Euro dollars a month was a fair price for trauma team insurance. Health wasn't something you were given, it was something you earned. The private system may not be perfect, but there's no alternative, we thought. Uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it so far. I'm, I'm loving how the control and the adaptive triggers the PS5 controller react to everything. That's really... I mean, I'm liking that. Uh, now, across the Pacific Ocean to the USSR, where they also have highly trained medical technicians, high-precision nanosurgical sites, specialised antibodies, intravenous probes, the list goes on. Emergency air issues in modern AVs, equipped with 
cryotonic chambers. They have those too. The difference then, they don't leave their people to die in the streets at the store in their homes. They don't force anyone to purchase their lives from a corporation as if they're the ones who own it. Public health care is in some unachievable utopia, it's a reality. Trauma team, on the other hand, treats its policyholders as both potential patients to be treated and potential products to be brought. They save lives only because there is a profit in it. A saved life is a return, returning customer. Client death can also bring in fiscal gains in the form of organ and implant resale. Though, of course, in re- regulated smaller sums, an emergency care provider can't afford to give his managers reason to deliberately kill off his clientele base for short-term windfalls. Surely, you ask, these medical professionals are also guided by the Hippocratic Oaths. Please. So you have to have private medical care. I know you do in America already. Here in the UK, you don't. That's the thing. Alright, let's go in. Pandellas. Enemies, essentially. Right, we got him. Hide him in the freezer. What's this? Cyberware uses and its side effects. Many people believe we live in a time when impossible has become an absolute, absolute obsolete term. Ripodox can replace any part of the human body with artificial implants, from your big toe to force on the nervous system. My years in trauma team, however, taught me that the impossible is still very much possible. Even now, as we enter the twilight of the 21st century, we as medical professionals have not yet been able to eliminate all of the side effects that come from incorporating cybernetic elements into our bodies. Of course, everyone is familiar with the mental disorder most commonly referred to as cyberpsychosis. But it doesn't end there. Although advances in medical science for the greater part of the century have reduced its incidence to a minimum, cyberware rejection can still occur in a small subset of the population. These unlucky few can experience a range of complications, but the following are the most pre- prevalent. Immune response, the body rejects the implant, causing scar tissue to continue growing to the point it causes pain and inflammation surrounding tissue, as well as possible interference with the text electrical circuits. Psychological effects, neurological implants have potential to cause unpredictable change in the brain. Possible side effects include depression, apathy, hallucinations, sudden increase in addictive behaviours such as gambling. Wow. I was at there's Keanu Reeves in the game. I don't know as when as I've never watched any gameplay. Ah, okay. Yeah, no, completely understand that, Epla. That's why I don't know anything about it either. I did. We haven't met him yet. No, no, we haven't met him. Um, but yeah, it's one of those. I'm. I'm. It's been interesting to see who he is and when we see him. To be fair, um, implant over dependence, long-term use of certain synthetic body part replacement, change the brain chemistry to make it more accustomed to a particular type of implant. There are reported case of permanent blindness after patients have to replace their carotid optical implants with different models. Wow. In the face of these known risks, what should our outlook be as consumers and medical professionals to deny ourselves cybernetic enhancements on the 0.5% chance we could lose our vision forever? Or we'll gamble away our life savings at a casino? The clear answer is no. Cyberware technology has elevated human biology to the point where these what-if arguments serve against their best interests. The best advice I can offer of minimising your risk is to read the tech techno medical profiles full side where you intend to purchase pre-install. Basically, read the instructions before you install any cyber tech into your body. Always good advice, I'm sure. Right, is there anything else in here to look at? There's a freezer there. Which can be used for distracting. It's just this. Tier 1 components, I'm guessing that's for... Oh, that, is that the corpse? Yeah. The tier one composed, I'm guessing, is for crafting. Uh, right, there's a door here. Nothing. On your toes. More bodies incoming. They're almost on you. Please fuck these reapers. Um, do you know one thing I can't remember what, how to do? Is how do you get cover? Why should so we can hide from him is optional. So we can actually fight these guys, or we can hide. The only thing I can't remember is how do I get into cover? Like that, let's jump. Ah, 
I'm, well, I don't know why I'm struggling with controls today. I don't remember how to do certain controls. Uh, it's, I'm just looking at how do we get cover? Range, blah, 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 blah. Why can't I remember these things? I don't know if it, I don't think there's cover. It's a, yeah, it looks really good at the minute. This is obviously still the start. So far though, look, it looks good. I don't think there is a cover, is there? We just crouched last time, I think, didn't we? Uh, fast attack, blah, 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 mains block. Yeah, I don't think there is a getting to cover, is there? You just crouch, essentially. Dodge dash, yeah. So right, there's me thinking there was a way of getting into cover, but I don't think there is. I can't, can I scan the room? What have we got? So they, that's a floodlight we could use there. Ceiling fan to distract enemies. Over there, what's that? That's something we can pick up over there, isn't it? So there is an option we can hide from the scavengers. I'm assuming we can also take them off. Wait for your chance. Pick the prick off. So yeah, but there's an option to hide or we can take them down. The only thing is I would say I can't see anyone. Oh there we go, it's a hound. Affiliation of scavengers. He's got frag grenades as well. So we can overheat his optics, we can reboot his optics, or we can short circuit his op optics. So obviously, he has optics on and we can hack them. But you can also just hide according to this. Oh, there's two of them. Do you know what? Let's, let's actually try and use distractions and things. Let's do the ceiling fan. Get by, if I get behind one, potentially take him out silently. I oh, know that's someone else. He's a rat. Okay. I'm I'm guessing we just shoot. Down. Clean it up, clean it out. Don't want to be bringing the target out under yeah. fire, and definitely don't want a slug in your back. No way, not neither. I don't know if I should have done that or not. He was seeing us, so four miles of shooting. Cover me, I'm reloading. Where are you? Down. Oh, someone else here, I didn't see him there. Do me deal. I think he's the last one left as well. Can I I was gonna try and see if I can hack him essentially. He's dead. Don't see any movement on the sensors. Looks like you got him. You're clear to go. Shit, where the hell's our target? Look around. Gotta be there somewhere. Let's look around. There's stuff everywhere. I didn't. I don't know if we should have started the fight then. It was just the fact he was seeing us after I tried to use a ceiling fan. Um, and I thought, well, best option. Start shooting and take him out first. We have also got some skill points, I think. Use air hypo. Okay. Right, a few things. We've picked up a lot of stuff so far. Um, I don't know how much we're meant to pick up. Uh... In a torso, okay. We'll have, probably have to have a look at everything to see what we. Uh... That's a radio, I'm not turning on the radio. Ammunition over here. There we go. Do we need to reload? I don't know. I'm not, I don't want to leave anything behind. If there's anything here we can take, we've got to take it. Leave nothing behind. Right, there's more ammunition over here. 
think I'm maxed out. Am I maxed ammunition? There we go, more ammunition. Anything else? What's this guy got? Machete. Nice. Oh, we're still looking for the person we're here to find. I can't help myself but pick everything up, though. Pain editors and mortality rates. What's this? Also, the shooting in combat is actually really responsive as well, which is really good. I really like how that works. Um, introduction. The implant known why is the pain editor is cyberware that reduces or even entirely eliminates pain. Wow, I want that now. It has enjoyed unwavering popularity for years among certain circles in the United City. The most devoted and arguably most valuable of which is mercenaries. It is using this test group at Zeta Tech conducted the following research. The pain editor is a neural pro pro processor that inhibits the signals sent from the, the nose susceptors to the parietal lobe of the brain, thus preventing feelings of pain in the user. Some models also reduce symptoms of fatigue. The beneficial effects caused by the pain editor are in some ways similar to the symptoms of hyperesthesia including greater resistance to physical forms of torture and the ability to ignore pain from severe wounds which will allow the user to continue to perform beyond normal human limitations for a brief period. However, some studies report that the pain editor can yield a range of undesirable side effects. For example, in the heat of battle, some users are unaware of the severity of their wounds, which causes them to continue fighting without realising they are dying and require immediate medical attention. The statistics support the fear that, that a lack of negative reinforcement may cause users to continue fighting when the rational strategy would be to retreat and escape death. Since 2020, the mortality rate of pain editor owners is above 60%. In this report, I addressed the question of how to better protect data tech clients at avoidable death or using their pain editors. So they, they, you, can put, you can have an enhancement that gives you, takes away the feeling of pain, but obviously the, the downside of that is you won't feel when you're shot and stuff like that. There's actually a real condition in the world where you the people don't feel pain. It's a natural natural occurring condition that some people have. Um, and they, yeah, they don't feel any, any pain. But obviously, like I say, there are big downsides. Right, this is, this. I know where, he, how, where thingy is, but I'm just, obviously there's another room here, so it's worth a check. Anything else in here? by the looks of it. I think we've picked everything up. So, something I did notice, we've picked a lot of stuff up. So we've now got a new weapon here. So we've got, this is our choice of weapons now. We've currently got our pistol, um, which is the power pistol. We've also picked up a revolver. Um, slightly better range, but that's about it. You do do 200% head spot damage. We've got a double barrel shotgun. Uh, we can't use smart target because we don't have the smart thing. Cyberware, double barrel, so another double barrel shotgun. Another double, so three double barrel shotguns. Obviously cause a lot of damage. We've got another pistol here. This is another power pistol. It's the exact same as ours, in fact. It's the same as ours. Actually, we don't want to change that. We can put, we can put a secondary weapon here, though. So what is the best pistol? Oh, we can disassemble these as well. I don't know what disassembly does. So if we equip... 35%, uh, 85% headshot damage modifier. Let's put that one in. That's, one that can, that's the same as that one, but not that one. That's a smart double barrel shotgun. Um, instead of a power one. So the range is lower. Everything else is better bar the range. Um... But you can't use smart link cyberware required to enable smart targeting. Rounds did increase damage, but have a chance to lose target lock and miss. So unless we've got the cyber link, and I spot cyberware, I'm assuming there's no point using that one. Uh, melee, melee weapon, we've got a machete now as well. We can add that in. So, we, so these are weapons we can swap through. So we'll put the machete on there as well. So yeah, we've now got three different... All our slots are full of weapons now. Um, we did pick up uh, a few bits and pieces. Nothing for the face, nothing for the head. I'm sure we picked up a new t-shirt. We did. But again, it doesn't change anything by the looks of things. Um, trousers we already know about. We didn't pick any boots. 
Uh, backpack. There's loads of stuff in our backpack we've just picked up. Clothing, consumables. These are all different things. Soy paste. Obviously, we're still learning how everything works, so it's definitely worth making sure we know what's going on here. So that gives us um, health back. Uh, mints. Filtered rainwater. Stamina regeneration. And lime. Okay. We've got three different types of grenades. We've got a flashbang. A frag grenade, which we've currently got on. And an EMP grenade. Uh, Grandstand Mark II. These are scopes and things. These are shotgun mods. Oh, wow. Okay. We can actually put a shotgun mod on. Onto our shotgun then. And then we've got... Doesn't tell what these are. These are junk. But I'm assuming we can sell them. Yeah, so we should be able to actually put it. Why has that still got that on it? Unequip, disable comparison. I don't know why that's telling me. The shotgun, though, we, sh oh, we can't mod it. Why can't we mod the shotgun? We should be able to mod it. Because we've got a uh, thing for it. Unless that, that one can't be modded, potentially, then. Whereas this one can... The, our pistol can be modded, but we don't have the attachments. I don't know why it wants us to change that. Um, I did also notice, I think we got some skill points. Because it did tell me we got something, but I don't know what it was. Uh, I don't think it's cyberware, is it? No. I'm sure it said we had something. So there's a shotgun. We'll go back to the pistol, though. Why is my pistol gone? Oh, it's there. Hang on a second. Pistol, shotgun. There we go. That's telling me I've missed something on someone. Oh, look at that. That's a broken... Broken weapons automatically disassembled. Okay, so we can, that's already broken. We must have shot his gun at some point and it broke the weapon. Well, I think we've picked everything up we possibly can. We've looked at loads of different things. It's in here that we need to look at. Computers. A couple of things on the side here as well. Uh, Euro dollars. Free money. Free money is free money. A titanium reinforced ga gas mask, which gives you chemical resistance if you wear it. The day the tower fell. In early August 2023, a single event would change the course of history. Though it fell against the bloody backdrop of the Fourth Corporate War, the global media still fed in the story for weeks. Uh, and could you blame them? A group of terrorists detonated a nuclear bomb, blowing Arasaka Tower to pieces. The terrorist warning came too late. Not all of the tower's employees could be evacuated. The blast itself killed and wounded thousands, while countless others died from the radiation sickness. How did the biggest terrorist attack in the 21st century happen? Who was behind this catastrophe? To find the answers, we need first to understand the context of that era. The early 2020s was a period of unrest for Night City, and anti-corporate sentiment was at an all-time high. In the epicenter of the city's lawlessness stood the Atlantis Club, seen as an island of resistance against the powers that be, primarily mega-corporations like Militech and Biotechnica. Through, though a special place in hell was reserved for Arasaka, the Japanese arms manufacturer in Zaibatsu that held the most influence over Night City. The kinds of people who frequented the Atlantis felt that the corporations to hijack the future and turn people into consumer slaves and ironically, deprived of the two things capitalism loved most, freedom and choice. These people called themselves edge runners. They positioned themselves against the corporate world war. They declared their own freedom in opposition to the status quo, but deprived of any peaceful way to meaningfully change that, what they called the system, they reached more radical methods of self-expression, and these people were no strangers to violence. So people rose up against the corporations, but not in a not in a good way, it seems. There's an outside part. Is there anything out here? I can't help myself and make sure I look around everywhere. Right, we're still looking for the person here. We've got to try and find San Sandra. Jesus fucking Christ. That's not so. I don't know who that. Examine the body. Should be. I mean, that is Sandra. I got a stomach of steel, but this, oh, this, I wasn't made for this shit, you know. Chop shops. Check the body. I'll check her body. 
We're here for a reason. I haven't turned off through the two. If you guys would prefer it off, please let me know. She alive? About to find out. V, jack into our biomod. Need to know what we're dealing with. Uh, this does not look good. in the tub of ice. Crammed in with another. Fuck. Like Always ask the blue meat. questions before we do Keep the yellow. Together, but yeah, if you'd if if like, if you'd rather do the two turn off, please let me know. Um, for me, people who live through difference. shit like this get panic attacks. That ever known why? You'd be sipping a glass of ice cold water and suddenly your hands shaking. V, jack into her biomon. We need to know what we're dealing with. Okay. Jacking in. Wow, look who's out of our hand. <laughs> Sandra Dorset, NC570442, Trauma Team Platinum. Platinum? Platinum. Shit. Trauma should have swooped in if she sneezed. So she's actually paying for trauma team. Looking at a hacked biomon, firmware reconfig, or a neurovirus. Carajo, T-Bug. You ain't seeing this place. This is tubs, ice, hooks, and cleavers. Hmm. Scott Muncher's hack, huh? Got an idea. Check her neural cord. Find the shard. Yeah, pull it. That'll be what's muting the biomop. Is that like... is that even safe? Can we just get her out of here? We found her still breathing. Can't lose her. We need that biomon working, checking for hemorrhages, whatever. Find that shard and gank it. Pull the shard. Found the shard. Removing now. Check the biomon. Anything changed? Greetings, Sandra. If you are conscious, assume recovery position now. An emergency evacuation unit has been dispatched and is due to... Surely we've got to get out of here before that arrives. In 180 seconds. Biomon claims trauma will be here in three minutes. Your premium plan will cover 90% of the projected costs of Only your rescue 90%. and treatment. Hey, pobrecita. Let's get her off that ice. Need you to cover Jack, me. look sharp. Not done yet. Don't know who's out there. Locked and ready, hermano. Do your thing. Okay, we need to pick her up and get her out of the ice. That's weird being able to jack into someone's head like that, though. Oh, fuck. She's flatlining. V, need to know what's going on. Jackie, air hypo. Fuck, this is bad. Hey, get, vato! Hopefully, that's just saved up. I think. I don't know if we oh, should be here worked. when the trauma team arrives, though. That's the only thing. Get her outside. Well, I'm going to get her outside. Is there anything in here to pick up? I can't pick anything up now, can I? I don't think. Where I get her out, terrace. All right, we've got to carry her to the carry her to the terrace, and then by the sounds of it, the trauma team are coming to rescue her. But they won't. Obviously, her plan that she pays for, and the trauma team won't pay the full amount. <laughs> Only ninety percent. Well, I'm on the terrace. There we go, there's the trauma team. Okay. We've got to wait for the doorway. So the trauma team that carries guns, eh? Is that the woman down? I wouldn't expect a trauma team, i.e. paramedics, to carry guns like that. TT-133 to control. Patient NC-570442 secured. Stimulus being administered. 70 milligrams dopamine. 110 norepinephrine. I assume obviously they don't know if we're going to attack them or not. Looks like we saved her though. Elevator gets us to the garage direct. Right, before we Good go work. to the elevator, Shit I'm pretty sure over. there was stuff in here to pick up. Cutting my wires now. See you in the near future. I got this thing. No, nothing. If I borrow your wheels. There hmm. is something showing up there though. Is that I think it might just be the body. It's a metro. That's showing up there. Look for me. All right, Only let's get out of here then. Jack, but don't get used to it. Right. There is a, there's still a body here. It's saying there's, that we've missed something to pick up, I think. What have I missed? Oh, here. There we go. Uh, Euro dollars. That's what we've missed. You can see it on there as if there was still something we hadn't picked up. 
Always gotta make sure we pick up if possible. You're saving my ass, V. Thank you. How about I right. drive you home, huh? She's, She's all yours. Home. I'm beat as it is. Well, mission accomplished by the looks of things. We uh, saved oh, the woman. Almost forgot. Should get Wakako in the hollow. Tell her the job's done. Okay, so access your phone menu. Uh, we press down. Oh, you have to hold it down. There we go. Let's ring the person. This is supposedly the person who told us to do the job. V, how did it go? Our client is alive and well. I wouldn't... Uh, she'll live. Of course she's alive and well. That's what we agreed, isn't <laughs> it? Splendid. Your payment awaits you. Ready to come and grab whenever you like, even right away. But I guess home is the only place you wish to be now. The NCPD has surrounded Watson. The district is closed. If you're to make it past... Well, well, good morning. How are you? Apologies if I pronounced that wrong. Um, how are you this morning? Up. Yeah, Swing I'm, by to see you later. I'm really, I'm enjoying the game so far. I'm, street cred is now level two. Words out the NCPD is going to put Watson on lockdown. But I'm going to sleep in my I'm own really bed tonight. I'm really enjoying the um, combat, especially Leave with the guns and how reactive the triggers are with that. Um, yeah, really like the, the controls so far. Story I'm still trying to understand. But yeah, so far so good. Have you played it yourself, Corwin? Right, come on then, drive. So Jackie's going to drive us home by the sounds of it, but there is an issue with the place being locked down, supposedly. We haven't really explored anywhere yet, mainly because obviously... Can't it's kind of kept us focused city. at the minute on different missions. City like any other. I'm just assuming bigger. at some point we're going to be able to explore. No, mano. Not just any other city. Morgan Blackhand, Andrew Whelan. Finish it two times and now you're the third one. Oh, nice. Legends are born here. So what star did you pick? Because obviously we picked Nomad. I try and play a thing. Well, I haven't. I don't know anything about the game. I think it was blind. Starving. But, um, Let's grab a tight bite. I kind of say? just picked a random, Jackie, well, not a random, but a natural Watson, selection at the start. Oh, we, we started as a nomad. You're right. Oh, you're a nomad Is all the time, are you? Are. Okay, nice. Oh, I fucking knew it. Then on our ass, tailing us. I don't like this man. We're being followed. Fucking drive, Jackie. Yeah, he's down. Come on, V. Can't keep her steady. Whoa. Where are we going? Holy fuck! Mierda! Perdón! Got you, assholes! V! Aim for the driver! I'm trying to take the driver out. Chingalo! Yeah, I, I really like the combat, to be fair. Just because of how different weapons bad. react differently with the triggers, Sorry, that's what I really like. It's okay. We have the nomads one for the world here. Oh, absolutely. Let's just focus on getting home. Yeah, for me, it was just a natural decision. And I try and do that in most games. We try and play it naturally. Um, I make decisions that we would make, essentially. And Nomad just seems to fit pretty well, to be fair. But yeah, really liking how the controls are. And how reactive everything is with the triggers. Um, this is meant to be locked down, aren't they? Pulling out all the stops. Oh, they're going to let us pass. What does the lockdown to for the Nerdist? Necessary security measure. Officer, ma'am. No, I haven't. Damn, I don't really watch anime, to be fair. I've never really, I've really? never tried to watch anime. What's it that makes me I didn't so even know special. there was one, to be fair. Uh, heart of gold? Because only somebody with a heart of gold can understand just how much I need to get back to my girl. <laughs> You're... He's pulling out girl? all the charm, isn't he? Uh-huh. Gonna be worried sick if I don't So what show. we do, we do a vote I mean, on next main live stream game, uh, Gwen. Giving me a chance. I always put a game Wait. on there that I wouldn't normally mm. play. That's and a this shame. And this was this one. Look at him. No model citizen, um, maybe. So yeah, it's, he's a good for me, kid. this isn't something I would have looked at. 
But then now I generally find you, you end up enjoying games you wouldn't normally play. This is why we give these these Okay, stuff. on your way. Yeah, absolutely. You have a good evening now, officer, ma'am. It's always nice to play something you wouldn't pick yourself because, you know, you can find some absolute hidden gems that way. But yes, definitely so far so good. She took a liking to you. She took a liking <laughs> to you. The devotion I demonstrated grabbed her by the gut. Right. I'm loyal, stable in my affections. Mm-hmm. And unassuming. You get it. So there's lots of times it seems where you don't have to say anything. You can just stay silent. But there are also options to pick at the same time, which is quite cool. Out of the car! Now! Come on! What? Take out all day! <laughs> Check it out, V. Oh, they're, they're actually die. attacking yeah, someone. Get the hell? Get shoot! Nothing to do, this is nothing to do with us. Look like your average bust. This ain't your average badges. Wow. That's Max Tech. NCPD's apex predators. So basically, that's the police. Tech rolls in when things fly out of hand. Gonks out there, though. Just a bit day snack for them. So that was well, the police taking down some over. bad guys. Poor bastards. But they had it coming. Wow. We don't want to mess them with them then. Uh, if you're riding as fast as nothing important is going on, you can press circle to skip the ride. So we can skip the ride then. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I also don't know how far we're going, to be fair. One thing actually we did do, didn't we level up? We got a street cred went up, didn't it? Although we can't spend any points. I'm sure a street cred went up though. We have now got a gas mask as well we can put on which gives us resistance um, yeah I'm sure it's like so I don't actually know where we go I don't know if we should skip the ride or not made it almost at your oh, place. already here so there's no point what about you up. not likely to make it back to Haywood now chill V don't there's a lot of times you're just silent weather so sure far I've, pro I've probably said oh, something yeah. every time it was, you could have stayed silent um, thanks for the like well, I was much appreciated I was always happy because it takes place two years before the game. Oh, okay. That's interesting. So it gives you more background then, essentially, on the game by adding stuff in. That's quite cool. But yeah, every time there's been a chance to say silent, I've probably said something so far. Sweet dreams, then. I'm quite talkative, so it's normally what I would do. <laughs> Tell Misty I said hi. I will. Okay, we've made it home Hello, after the job. Level up. We have some attribute points to spend as well. Then let's get home first, though, obviously. Uh, do I need to press something? Yeah, apartments. Is that is that something good? A runner I know has something you could probably use. Why you A job from a task you was giving you is an important step on the path to learning your net running skills. Um, I, gone, I, don't, I think I've gone wrong. I think I should. Oh no, I'm here. We're okay. So, T-Bug has given us a job to do as well. At some point, we need to go and do that. Then that improves our net running skills. This, our, this is our apartment then. Yeah, this is our apartment. Body needs some twigs. Approach me in your apartment to save a select or change appearance. I don't do cosmetics. Appearances don't matter for me. So I'm not too worried about that. Create outfits in your apartment's wardrobe. You can change the appearance of your equipped clothing whenever you want. So this is how we change appearance here then. There's also a shower here. Um, what else have we got? Clothing. Open a wardrobe. Does this mean the stuff we're carrying? You can have to six outfits saved in your wardrobe. Change the appearance of the clothing you've equipped, but not change the stats. Okay, so here you can you can ch keep the way you look the same, but you don't lose the stats of whatever you're wearing. That's a, that's essentially. You always want to look the good. Yeah, see, I don't do cosmetic. Um, but yeah, so you can equip it, and it wouldn't change how you look essentially. Uh, what else have we got here? It says check your weapon stash before going to bed. There's bed there. We're down here. Vodka. 
I have to I have to pick everything up, that's the thing. Uh, TV. Where's our weapon stash? That's food. And I always try and do the optional objectives where possible as well. I try, uh, open that. This is our weapon stash in here, so we've got ammunition. Your stash is secure for storing equipment and can be accessed from all your available safe earth and, and vehicles. If you store something in your car trunk, you'll be able to access it from your apartment. Oh, okay, so anything you store in your car, you, in, in the trunk, you can access from your, your, your apartment and vice versa. Clothes don't give you stats, it doesn't really matter. Oh, really? Oh, okay, fair enough. So we can store some of our weapons we've picked up here as well. Since we did pick up a load of stuff. Um, are these all the things it's given us? This is my inventory. In this, so we've actually got an assault rifle in storage, a shotgun there as well. Um, we've actually we used it, we've put a shotgun ourselves on. Um, this uh, that was that the shotgun we put on, power double shotgun, yeah. So we can transfer things across and vice versa. Okay, submachine gun. Um, uh, okay. So we might as well get rid of the guns we've got today. I don't know if that's better than our current equipped. Uh, no, that shotgun there in the storage is rubbish compared to ours, to be fair. Um, I do want the assault rifle. We've got to have an assault rifle on us at all times. Uh, we'll get rid of the pistol. I don't know if I'm better off to, s to sell these or store them. Uh, haven't I got two of the same? No, I haven't got two. No, that's, that's that one. I didn't know if I had two of the same. I would definitely want an assault rifle though on there. No, these nomads boots. Um, so yeah, so are these all different clothes, aren't they? Essentially, you dismantle them, do you? I'm I'm one of these people who likes to collect things though as well. So for me, if we get a second one, then dismantling, selling, kind of comes into effect. But I kind of I like to I don't know I like to keep one of everything essentially. Um, we've got a machete machete on us as well, um, which is currently equipped. I thought we had a katana. A knife, knife is quicker, does less damage and less damage. Yeah, we don't need you. I don't think we'll take the knife. We'll stick with the machete, I think. Uh, this is our current clothing. The mar uh, Obviously, there is a weight limit, isn't there? So we do need to be careful how much we're carrying, essentially. I don't know if it's worth getting rid of stuff. That's the thing. I wonder if it's worth probably selling T-shirts and things. You collect the unique weapons, dismantle something else. Oh, Okay. I think for the minute we'll probably keep the first of each weapon and then dismantle multiples. I don't know if it's better to sell clothes or keep them honest, though. That's the thing. I'm one of these people that will pick up random stuff, though. Okay. So that's our stash. I like the fact you can actually see weapons that are stored, though. I'm assuming they're for unique weapons. They're not for the ones I've just chucked in there, is what I'm assuming. So over time, we'll, I'm assuming we'll just build up an arsenal of weapons in here. Essentially. Uh, I have you Uniques, yeah. That's quite cool, though. I like that. We go over here. We've got whiskey. And one of these guys has to pick everything up as well. Uh, what? Are, I don't know what these are. Oh, messages. Oh, these are our emails and stuff. On the auto fix on that page, you'll find all vehicles coming up for sale. The vehicle's picture may display an icon doing it. It comes equipped with a built in weapon. Wow. Missile launch and machine gun. As your street cred grows, so will the number of vehicles available to you on auto fixer. Nice. Okay. Uh, you've been attacked. Yeah, usual stuff. Do not click any emails about for penis enlargement and mega lottery. 
Okay, so this is obviously where we can buy things as well. Trauma Team International. Okay. Uh, the only other thing I want to have a quick look at. We've got character level up. So we're now level two. We've got one attribute point and one perk point to spend. So these are our attributes. So we're going to decide what we want to put these on. Um, do you know what I think? I'll probably go... We've just taken an assault rifle. We've got a shotgun as well, haven't we? Let's increase... I don't know... Open... Okay, these are perks as well then. Okay. So we need to unlock slow health regen in combat. And that one is Fury Road in vehicle collisions. So the body, if we unlock that with our attribute point, we can you get painkiller. Um, technical ability... There's not... a perk for that by looks of things reflexes I can't do at the minute body's got one is, is body the only one I oh, know here we go cool road worry allows you to use sand vista to slow time while driving uh, movement speed and mitigation chance uh, killer instinct 25% damage in knives axes and silent guns it's quite cool what else have we got intelligence uh, eye in the sky Automatically highlights the nearby access points and cameras. Ram recovery rate. Car hacker. I'm thinking body, to be fair. Painkiller, I think, is the best thing. You need five minutes for the first part. Oh, okay. Is that what it is? Okay, that's why then. I think we'll go. We'll take painkiller, first and foremost. So we've got slow health regen in combat. Um, and that's our perk point spent. And then I suppose we add one to one of these, don't we? I don't really have a build. I, like I say, I try and play as naturally as possible, so I don't have a build in mind. Um, I'm just trying to think what would help us. Let's take uh, body as well to be a little bit stronger. I think that's a. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't have a build. I don't do builds in any kind of game. To be fair, um, I think that's it. I don't think we can do anything else, can we? Uh, trying to understand what this is. So 14 there. I don't... Yeah, we haven't got anything to install. I'm just trying to see what everything is. Okay, so we obviously that's all the different things we can have in us at some point. If you're in Perk Tree. This is our technical ability, so we need to get that leveled up to get more mods. So maybe that's something we should focus on. Technical ability. Um, next time we get a chance to level up. I think we'll focus on technical ability as much as possible. So we can actually get some more mods, I suppose. I didn't actually think of that originally. Um, what to do as well, while we're here, we'll give it a quick save, just because we kept, we're here. Yeah. There we go, game saved. I like a good manual save. Oh, you get a, oh do you get a tutorial? Okay, cool. Right, let's go to bed then. Why is there a red thing over there? Is there something I've not looked at? I hate when it says there's something red there that I haven't seen. Uh, okay. Why is there... A... I'm guessing I've missed something. I don't know what it is. Can't see anything. Unless that's just to highlight the... Star. That might just be the highlight stash, might it? So it's that red mark on the mini-map. Maybe think, what's that? Okay. What kind of build do you normally go for then, Gwen? I, well, I think we've got to try and get some more cybernetics. I think that would be quite good to have. Um, yeah, other than that, I don't really know. We'll just see how we go as we go through it. Okay. It says check her email is optional, so let's check her emails. I might have caught something when I jagged into that corpo's bio. You're a full net runner. Ah, oh, nice. No, neurovirus, sir. So I'm assuming that's Need full. To see Vic. Let him tell me what's going on. Cybernetics, essentially. My stomach churning. Okay, let me take you. 
Twenty and seven. He's a pistol guy. Okay, we've got to meet up with Jackie. There was an optional to read emails, wasn't there? Um, although I'm, does that mean, I don't know if I've already done it. I think I have. Uh, yeah, I've already read all the emails. I don't think there's nothing new, is there? Very unique as a pistol from Lego. Oh, really? Okay. Hey, V. Regina Jones here. If you're looking for work in Watson, give me a call. How'd you find me? How'd you even know my name? Someone else wants us to do some work for them. Intel. Could even call me a collector. Later. So we've already. I think. I don't know how. Fucking gone piece of shit. That's radio. Ignore that. We've got. I know I've got some missions already picked up. So here we go. Uh, they're done, aren't they? So let's, I'm just trying to work out how this works. Meet with Jackie is that one. That's the gig. Wait for lockdown to end. I think these are all our missions, aren't they? Listed essentially. I was trying to see what different things did what. We still haven't seen what crafting does yet either. I'm assuming that's something we'll learn later on. So this is how we can sell stuff then. So we did we did pick up a load of clothes, didn't we? Um, so we can sell some clothing. It's worth 114 euro, uh, euro. Is it euro dollars? I think they called them, didn't they? Uh, Trousers. Yeah, they don't give you anything, so I might as well sell everything. Um, that's it. We've got a bit more money that way. I think we had a load of junk, did we not? Hang on. Junk. So all these things can be sold as well. They're not really worth much, to be fair. There we go. I want to learn how we equip these on different things, unless it's only obviously on certain items. We've got a little bit more money there, though. Right, we're gonna head downstairs and monitor it. Shit, come on! Crews finished them off too quick. Gotta stretch it out over two more rounds. Oh no! Got one out of the way. Hey, yo, V. How about a round or two? What do you say? How you like my new punching bag? New punching Just bag. gave me a next gen ass whooping. He did. <laughs> Be curious to see how he handles the likes of V. I'm assuming this is just so. How about it? Fighting tutorials. Uh, Where'd you get him, Fred? Beast on the brat. We're here, might as well give it a go. Saw so him looking up at me. Oh yeah, no, we do. We try and do everything possible with the game. So I, um, I don't know. If... Him, him. Is there missions that become missable if you don't do them <laughs> nah, sooner rather than later? Real. By just main He's story locked around other missions. Box. Got a sweet deal. And a tumor mine or, or not. A That's the big question. Now, here uh, but we yeah, are. I try and do everything possible. Uh, we'll ask the bot how's it going as how's well. How's it going? Fight's about to start. Not gonna watch. Take notes. Malone versus Hernandez. <laughs> nah. Our chrome friend. We went past don't one, did we? TV. Don't talk neither. Was that the one with the, the police on the stairs? Is with them this. Let's do this. We're going to quickly fight the robot while we're here. This thing's feeding me to bits. Right, we've got to get a decent here. Why not doing any damage to our mic? Then we get my butt kick. That was better. Time managed to time my block better there.
Yeah, I'm definitely getting my butt kicked. Too early with the blocks, that's the thing. That was better. You got one hell of a punch there, Kim. Never thought of monetizing. I think we did it. I can arrange a fight or two. What do you say? Uh you go in the ring yourself. I managed to now beat him, I don't know how we really did badly. Too much of a beating. You can talk to him, like I I might run back upstairs then. I did think that as a path, but it was, it was showing up on the mini map. So it made me think there was something to that. So run back upstairs and do it. it so blue things are things you can interact with, I'm guessing, on the mini map. Uh, about these fights. something about fighting. Mm. I've seen you land in blows in the ring. I'm not, though, I'm not very good at the hand-to-hand combat, edge. to be fair. You can go far, especially if Blue's you over cops, are they? Oh, okay. These fights, let's just say they aren't legal, but very lucrative. So we can go into, yeah, we can have fights and earn money then, essentially. Both of us. I get a small percentage of the total winnings, you know, as your agent. You get the rest. <laughs> you want to get rich off my oh, hard work. You want to get rich off my blood, sweat, and tears. Hey, you got to make a buck somehow, right? At least I'm giving it to you straight. Yeah, I suppose you're being honest. Parts of the city. You choose where you want to go. Put down your eddies and start swinging. You win, you take home the pot. Manage to drop every last one of them. You get a chance to fight the grand finale. That all clear? Crystal. So there's fights Good. around the city we can take part in earn money that way as well. Outside or what? Not yet. You can start in Kaboom. I believe in you, V. Time to show this city. So we'll try and do these as we go along as well, then. What's the message you just gave us? Uh, so he's giving us addresses to go and do this four fights essentially in this area that we can go and do at some point. Uh, we want to quickly run back upstairs, don't we? And because the police were there. And Gawenda said about a mission there. So we're going to head back upstairs and speak to the police. And I'm going to grab him. I can't talk to him. I can just. I can only grab. In the event of acid rain, those with respiratory issues are advised to remain. Something's wrong here. Yeah, I can only grab them. I don't. I, uh, they aren't the ones. No, I'm going to say I can grab them and that's it. I don't really want to grab one and get myself in trouble immediately. <laughs> so, yeah, let's, let's leave those, shall we? After the prologue. That's all right, it's all good, don't worry. I don't, I don't mind. I'm no, no issue with going to places and just seeing what's there, so. Um, so that's the coach there, we know about him now. There's also something to pick up next to him. What's this? Why can't... I want to pick that up, but it won't let me. Do I need to sit down? Oh, he actually sells things as well. What does he sell? What have you got for sale? Only top shelf gear. So we can buy things off the coach. Obviously, we can't afford it. Um, you can carry capacity booster. Oh, but it only lasts for 1,800 seconds. So it's not a permanent booster then. And you've got stamina booster there as well. And eventually, two-handed clubs. We can buy off him as well. Um, airstrike. Melee weapon mod. And blunt weapon mods as well. So, yeah. And we can sell things to him as well. Okay, good to know. Obviously, there's something there to pick up. For some reason, I can't pick it up. Can I, if I... No. How do I get back up? There we go, get up. All I wanted to do was to pick up whatever that note is that's next to him, but it won't allow me to do so. Yeah. Uh, actually, we can. There we go. Dodds of Havoc and Radon. 
The battery spheres and dire strays the Iranians have occupied almost half the city. Them and the Technorat Scourge have transformed almost everyone into hordes of minor zombies. Battery Arena is now the final point of resistance against the invaders and Planet X. What is this? Seems the end is inevitable, that is, until the legendary mercenary pair arrive just in the nick of time after years of mysterious absence. Amidst the cigar smoke and glint of chrome armor, Dr. Havoc and Radon slaughter scores of enemies without mercy. After all, who could possibly slow the mighty force of the, a laser-armed mountain of muscle and his spitfather psychic who can transform into a sentient cloud of radioactive gas? I'll tell you, no one so far. Rose Tenario and Martoni Eleza take us into the world of computer games first imagined in the bestseller novel Kibble and Scrop by A. Cross. Oh, it's, it's talking about a computer game. They're basking as he's and ready for a roller coaster ride of comic book violence. If you ever wonder what the action is in the battery of the Battery Arena may have looked like, Dr. Havoc and Radon is a must buy. Dive in now. Okay. So that's just advertising the computer game then. So this I'm assuming is another shop where you can buy weapons. Sweet little 45's waiting for its daddy. Hers after every shot now. So yeah, we can I'm assuming buy weapons from this guy. Have Let's a have look. a look. Says collect your gun from Wilson. Why is this, is that our gun there? Uh, I'm assuming we have to we can pick that up. For, it doesn't cost us anything. It's free. Why why is that free? It goes. It just kind of confuses me why it's free. It's actually not that brilliant. Attack speed is good, handling is good, the damage is poor, and the range is poor as well. But it's free. I suppose we should take it. I still don't know. I want to get rid of that mark on both of them, the explanation point. We've got to figure out how to do that. So these are all the different weapons we can buy. Obviously not at the minute. And there's mods as well for them all. A silencer. Definitely got to get a silencer at some point for our pistol. You're quite upgrading iconic weapons. You've just acquired an iconic weapon. Iconic weapons possess unique abilities. However, they cannot be improved weapon mods. With the appropriate components, iconic weapons can be upgraded to a higher tier, which significantly improves, improves their power. You can do this from the upgrades tab of the crafting menu. Thanks a lot. Okay. Oh, he's giving it back, our gum. Cyborg. Good morning, Dennis. How are you? Um, iconic weapons can be found all over our night city. You might receive one from a friend or loot one off an enemy. It's also possible to find some simply laying in the ground or available to purchase vendors. Some you might even craft yourself. So that's our first iconic weapon then. So, one thing I want to check. So that's our current pistol, obviously. So yeah, comparing the two, I would say it's nowhere near as good as our current. Speed and handling are better, but that's it. So I don't think there's any... I, would, I don't, wouldn't change it, to be honest. I think the one we have is better. It's streaming Valhalla today. Oh, nice. Um, I don't know. Headshot damage multipliers slightly less, but armor penetration is good. I personally, I think it's worse than what we're currently using, based on what the stats look like. Is what I think. It got a better DPS because of speed, I guess. Yeah, the attack speed and handling are a lot better, but it's the damage is down by well, it's half. Yeah, the damage is half what it is, and the range is down by 11. We don't have to equip it, do we? That's the, that's the thing. So we can leave it as it is. What I wanted to do is, for some reason, I wanted to see if we... I don't think we've got any uh, slots, actually, don't I? I was thinking something else. Right, let's crack on. Let's go and meet with Jackie. Uh, entrance? Yeah, entrance. You're hyped to start it. I think you'll enjoy it, to be fair. It's, it's really good. And then it's just the DLCs as well. But yeah, I think you'll enjoy it. Right, let's see what Jackie wants us to do next, shall we? So, 
From all of us at WNS News, we wish you a safe and fun night. Okay, I was wondering why wouldn't that leave? It's because I haven't gone close enough. So, uh, are we going to talk about yesterday? So there's it's police officers the there. Oh, I read it. Except there's no mention of me telling you to delta the fuck out of there. Yeah, no biggie. But we can't do anything to them either. That psycho was a tank on two chrome legs. I don't know if... Do we get missions if we stand and listen to them? Okay. So, NCPD scanner hustles. The NCP will pay you to help fight crime. Gigs, fix... Okay, so these are different markers on the map. So, NCPD will pay us to help fight crime. Fixers will contact you when you approach a gig's location for that one, and the hands are intermediaries will inform you that local gigs available. Okay. No, I haven't turned it off, Dennis. I've left it on. Thanks for the like, much appreciated. Crazy Irishman, good morning. How are you? <laughs> yeah, I've left it on, Dennis. I'm no, I'm, I'm, it's not a big deal. I've turned off uh, copyright music. So. There are other missions, obviously, we can pick up and do along the way. I would assume for the time being, we should focus on the main story. Man see how the things hour. go that way. <laughs> Jeez, took you long enough. Worked up an appetite, just waiting. Sit down, let me finish this. Then we can drop in on Senor Vector. What you eat? figure you is a type for age. I'm assuming we're going to go and get our money from the job exotic. last night, essentially. What do you mean? What's there not to like? Noodles, and I'd also check. guess we're still in sirloin, the check. prologue, so there's no it's point trying to be off this up yet. In here, and you're looking at Mama Well's signature sopa de fideos. <laughs> Mentioned something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right, or just had a brain fart? Probably both, because you usually forget shit. Why have we got a system so malfunction? I think I might have bagged us a sweet ass J O B. Go on. I mean, maybe it's not as big as that, but just that he's fronted by a little known someone named. Oh no, that's not okay. Cool. Yeah, the middle then. You got to focus on the main story, don't you, really? City. Fat ass black Jesus of the afterlife. Three hundred pounds of partly gold plated cool. Right. Always do the blue before we do the yellow. So the most information. Cool in your spleen or something? As far as I know, we're not the type to get fingered by Dex. You and me? Oh, but T-Buck, she's the one that hooked us up. Got us talking. Knew it was a done deal the moment he laid eyes on me. Cause come on, ain't nobody who can resist this. Am I right? <laughs> ain't nobody who, <laughs> sure, who can resist this, Whatever really? you say. Dex to Deshaun? What's the latest spec on him? I know you got info to spill. So far, graphically, it looks years. really cool. Word on the street I don't know if the combat so far is really good. Two years? That's exile, not Just trying to kind of make sense of the story a little bit. Uh, guessing he shoved pizzas in his mouth while jerking off the hardcore virtues. The important thing is, he's back. He's a fresh crew, and he found us. Yeah, I think, I think graphically, and the animations with the faces and the voice is really good. So what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Our Lord and Savior wants to tell you everything himself, face to face. No, I didn't know that, Dennis. No. Oh, no pressure, but uh, this whole deal. That's a bit weird. He's riding on you now, is he? Why me? Where do I gotta go? You and T Bug draw straws without me? T Bug and Dex go way back, and my face is yesterday's news. All Dex says he needs to check you, talk to you. Okay. You're not gonna leave this week. Look, V, it's his uh, job, okay. his rules. I can't yeah, I'm looking forward to WrestleMania. A personal approach. And it ain't as bad as you think, okay? So it's nice to have a week's holiday then. Crazy I got awesome. no choice then. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong. Don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is in a league of his own. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me started on fixers. They catch a client. Find the cheapest gong to do the job, then drop their corpse at a landfill. Shit. Hit the nail on the head, V. For a guy that was going to leave us at the start yeah, of the I game, he's actually turned into be something that we tend to trust. Your wheels. It, Gave them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our uh, dust up with the scabs. Right, we've got a car back then. Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. You can call your active vehicles your current location. Okay. 
So we can call our car any time while it's Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about that. So we rolling or what? It really works on the... Do you mean costumes? Is that what you mean, Dennis? You can make an egg to end. Let's feel this long. new ride. You know me, I don't do cosmetics, though. Right, here's our car. Uh, driver's seat around the other side, isn't it? Yeah, there you go. First stop, Ripper Duck. Right, again, apologies for in game driving. I'm definitely not the best at it. I was supposed to stop by Vix anyhow. I got a date. Me and Miss D. You don't Whoa. say. She's so <laughs> sweet. Really gets me, you know. It wasn't too bad on the open roads at the start of the game. Now we're in a town. It's a little bit different. I'm guessing the right hand side of the road. Oh, we got a left turn coming up here. And we're here by lots of things. Why well, it's really nice seeing the surrounding area, you may come across valuable containers with loot. They might be tricky to find since they're not marked in the minimap. So there's containers, valuable containers with loot that are not marked on the minimap, supposedly. And we're going to have to find those. Who's this guy? Why has he got a skull above his head? I'm assuming he's part of. Checking them out. There's a load of blue dots here. That are police, then I assume. They're recreating a crime scene. That's quite cool. Four days off from the Easter weekend. Nice. Why don't I give him four hands? Because I don't do things like you know I don't. Hey V. Doctor Vector will see you now. I'll sit the, over here. Me you think about said was a strong enemy, essentially. Do. Okay, makes sense. You look pleased. Right, let's go am. inside. Let's go and meet with Ripper Doc. Pet the cat. Always go and pet a cat whenever you see one. It's one of those things you just got to do. Malone drops his guard. Uh, you can see the fatigue on him. It's it's, it's real. Vicky, surprise him. Okay, through a common practice, though a common practice cyber web installation is still a dangerous invasive procedure only to be performed by qualified specialists, Ripperdox. There are several Ripperdox operating throughout Night City you offer a variety of different cyber web upgrades. Select your desired cybernetic upgrade from the list and enjoy your new abilities. So these are the people that you get your cybernetic abilities from. The old Ripper? Then as well. Good to well. see you. Good to see you too, V. Oh wow. We've still got a system malfunction going on, haven't we? Last gig. Had to jack into a client's neuro socket. Think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright no, lights. Just the fact that keeps telling us there's a malfunction. <laughs> All right, kid. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Thank you, Crazy Iceman. That's always blue before the yellow. Fixer. He gave me a job. Name's Dexter Deshawn. Known quantity from the afterlife. No denying you're moving up. We're moving up, are we? But something you're not telling me, Vic. Keep your guard up, that's all. I've heard some things about Dex. He's not as chill as he makes himself you out. You know to you're be. getting old when you last have to ask you over half in the morning actually how old you are, because I could remember for the life of me how old I was. <laughs> how about that? It's a new kit, but tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean, hitting the major leagues. Any tech that can perform. The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But well, that's weird. And I don't. This is what some games do this, and it bugs me. So we had already said to him about Dexter Deshaun, and explained, you know. We're work, we've got a job from him. Keep me waiting all day. And now he's exactly why we didn't tell him that. Uh, we haven't got the money, so we can't do that. We'll pay once the job's Quit done. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later. 
with interest. You know, I'm definitely getting old. That's definitely mm. a thing. Last time. To be yeah. fair, I feel like I'm flipping sixty at most mornings when I wake up. Chair, please. Sit down. And relax. Sit down and relax, like. Eh? You are, aren't you, crazy Archman? Actually, that's a good point. Yeah, the way my back is, I wake up every morning feeling like I'm sixty odd. Kuroshi optics, best I've got, and should be about right under the circumstances. Kuroshi optics, okay. Now Jack in. Uh, Kuroshi. Whoa, Vic, nothing tops that on the market. Hmm, sounds like it could come in handy then. I gave you my word I'd pay you back, but this. I'd be too rich for my blood. We'll work something out. Right now, I'm just out to make sure you get back in one piece. Eddie's in hand. So he does seem like someone that's on our side then, by the looks of things. Because it'll be our own money. You peruse and choose while I scan. And see you what's going on and choose. Okay. What are we deciding here? So I'm guessing the red is our tolerance. Cyber work capacity indicates the amount of cyber your body can handle. Yeah, so it's tolerance. The limit increases as you level up. Require certain perks and use cyber work capacity shards. So currently, uh, we can only have up to 27 is our capacity. Uh, we've got hands and face. Okay. Let's uh, first have a look at vision. So we've got a basic crossy optic. Minus 20% camera detection speed. Four times optical zoom when scanning. Plus two health. Uh, okay, uh, that takes us up by one. That's not that bad, actually. Yeah. There we go. We can upgrade to... Oh, so, okay, so we can upgrade that as well. Cyber way you acquire in the world can be installed or sold at the Ripperdoc clinics. So we can find other stuff, other clinics and stuff. Uh, ballistic code pro processor. Increased ricochet chance of power weapons directly links to use optical implant. Oh, nice. Real time weapon info and increases reload speed. Are these costing us money because I didn't see where it costs us actual, actual money. And these can be upgraded as well. Uh, how many I've got? I can upgrade both by one. So we can upgrade the code processor. Um, to tier one plus. What do we gain? Oh, plus three percent ricochet damage as well if we upgrade it. At least he has years and one. It's not that old. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm get. I'm going to upgrade both. I think we can do both once. So that's upgraded. So we need the green um, to upgrade a tier two. We should be able to upgrade our face as well here. So this will give us minus 22, um, so an extra 2% detection speed, minus on cameras. There we go. If we're able to, it's worth doing, I think, when we can. Uh, so what else have we got here? We've got one available item here. Subdural armor. Oh, nice. Armor indicates resistance to damage. You can increase your armor investing in skeleton and integral... In integumentary, I don't know how to say the word, system type word categories. So we've got some gel, subdermal armor here we can buy. There we go. I can't upgrade it because I've just spent my upgrade points, haven't I? <laughs> I've got no parts to upgrade it with. And there we are. That is our cyber where we currently sit at 22. We can handle 27 to be fair. There are items we can get here. And our armor is 20, 23, and we can handle 86, essentially. And these are all the different ones we can buy. We can't afford any of these at the minute. But these are all the different ones. Circuitry system. Um, the status, looks like stamina, that one is. What's these ones? Slows time. Stealth damage. Stealth damage. Skeleton is armor. Um, arms we haven't got one for frontal cortex explosion damage ram 
Uh, yeah. More RAM. I think that's it, isn't it? There's no sideboard install there. That's pretty cool, though. Mark I like one, how like I said, you can cherry pick scanner. what you can have. Displays data they all look like they cost a lot of money, though. The tops of built in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, left -hand 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 yeah, it is pain and pain threshold. Yeah, how much blur. body can handle? I just remember. Ready for the job, indeed. Your body will still show up as crystal clear. There was mm. a, a shotgun we picked up, which you needed an implant to, to be able to use Tech it too. properly. It said on it you couldn't. There was a certain effect you couldn't I'm have ready. without an implant. Carve away. Excellent. So Let's we've, we've fixed what we want, and now is the matter of installing. Lay that major league arm of yours right here. What? So always good to ask the extra question. What's the life of Victor Vector? <sighs> yeah, if I'm being honest. Not much, and that's fine with me. I used to live in a world where all that mattered was who's who, what's what, and how's why. And what happened? One day, I just dropped it and never looked back. I'll never be a legend in this town, but been sleeping nights ever since. Just like, like that. Tattoo. Thanks. That is quite cool. Now, a bit of anesthetic and... It's that D style, isn't it, to be fair? They look real. They look so you know real, don't they? That's the thing. Uh, nothing. Same as always. Don't feel a thing. If He's not making the noise like time, it hurts. You know? Not as if things are going to be any different today. Sure thing, kid. I mean, not like there's any risk of a stroke or paralysis, but <laughs> what do I know? I'm just a doctor. That's what I thought. Lights out for a minute, all right? That's the eye implant is doing then now. Okay, let's test this. See the magic in action. Linking you in. Yeah, the detail on his tattoos and stuff was quite cool. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. Glitches. Don't want no glitches. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? Uh, that's it. Hasn't really changed too much, has it? Seen more dramatic improvements <laughs> before. Patience, kid. Give it a minute. Okay, scanning people. Scanning people with optical cyberware can provide them with a lot of useful information. Just how strong an enemy might be, who is in their crew, and what type of weapon they use. As a skilled netrunner, you can see a list of quick hacks you can use against your enemies. So we, we can now scan people and learn more about them then. Time for the scanner. So Vic, Victor Vector, it might take you a, a few seconds to adjust, but first time's really the charm <laughs> with anything really. Best Ripper Docking Watson. Scanner should eventually sync Old with your thought Jackie processes Wells. and read your intentions. I also injected an NCPD file search. Oh, nice! Running to any ne'er do well. With the police, <laughs> you know exactly well, police what they files on storage well. as well. Database of wanted persons. The database of individuals with bounties assigned to them is now available to use. You can identify these wanted persons with your scanner. Since all are wanted dead or alive, the method you use to claim the reward is entirely up to you. Okay. It does seem like there's going to be a lot to do and a <laughs> lot to understand. Work like a charm. Doing a Harry Potter your tattoo. Oh, okay. You should see your ammo count in a brand new site. That's, it. That's interesting. My other half, I think, would love to have one, to be fair. She's so she's obsessed with Harry Potter. She'd love to have a Harry Potter statue. So now we can see ammunition, how much ammunition we've got, and the weapon we're using down there. Let's ask about the virus. How about the neuro what was going on with us? from the last job? Can you check it? Done and gone while we were putting in your implant and a full sweep on your soft and soft. Okay, so we had picked up a bug by jacking into You're the lady who tried to say. Bug free. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. But yeah, that's quite cool. My so I think my boss would like one. the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. What is what it? What am I looking at? A mild stem. Should boost neurotransmission in the short term and muffle some of the side effects while the implant takes. Okay. Thanks again, Vic. You're the best. I owe you. I just like how everything feels realistic, especially with the Show controls and everything else. Of. And once you hit the big leagues, 
Don't forget where you came from. We never forget where we came from. Oh, we can ask who's winning. This is the boxing Hernandez. match we're talking to the uh, you know, coach the about. Days, that cripple Malone would have been flat on the boards. Now every last fighter's got extra skull lining. There's new jobs so popping up as well. Of every blow. Jack, um, Jack, Cash Jack is uh, waiting for us outside. Nah, just looking. He just texts us to say it's hurry up. It's out of habit more than anything else. Miss it, don't you? Ah. Uh, Right, uh, I kind of, I, how's biz going? I think I can just leave uh, now as well. We do owe Purple's him quite a lot of money. Distance, and Twenty-one thousand euro dollars, bro. They all gotta have the newest, shiniest implants. Good thing you got Misty here to help. Handles your great. Yeah, boys, just have one. My half's got one. Twins yeah, was right a lot younger. Shops, the best decision um, on her shoulder, only a small one. You know what? Seems like you're the only person in Night City who's happy. I always said lie. I wanted a tattoo. There was one I wanted myself. I'm not allowed it now. The CRPS. Life just tattoo. gets easier from there. Um, because you can have massive side effects from it. Right. I think I don't think there's anything else in need to pick up then, by the way. Oh, what's that? Computer. Yeah, so this computer we can make malfunction. So other than owing him 21,000 euro dollars, I think we're done in here. I'm assuming we'll come back then when we want to do more upgrades later on. Right, we need to go and speak to Victor, uh, to Jackie. You are out of whack, babe. I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. V, yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. But yeah, He's so I was the only one, but I'm now not allowed. Ain't but a hop to where She's he Next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us up. Okay, we're gonna go and make, meet with Dexter Deshaun. We've got an incoming phone call as well. Listen, I've got this delicate matter. That's why I called you. How many different missions are we gonna have on the go? The attacks in the city is on the rise. Now that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyberpsychosis can be treated. Right. We're two and a half and hours in so exactly far, and I still don't sounds, think we've finished the start part. Even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tack hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Okay, so Try any job she gives us, we're not meant to kill anyone. We're meant to just to um, incapacitate I hope them. That's all clear. So Regina mm. do, means do not kill anyone. There are various ways to incapacitate enemies out killing them. Non-lethal takedowns, non-lethal quick hacks, non-lethal weapons, um, EMP grenades, and some combat gadgets. Weapon mods that change damage to non-lethal. A given weapon, combat gadget, or quick hack deals non-lethal damage mentioned in the description. So we've got to keep an eye out for non-lethal stuff because there are some missions that look like we need to be non-lethal. How many missions are popping up? Do That's you the thing. truly believe that those who have sold you your mechanical eyes Right, we're going to go and meet up with um, the Sean. I'm guessing we're getting in the car, essentially. I'm assuming Jack is not coming with us either. We're going to go and meet the Dexter, the Sean. Why does I run someone over accidentally? Right, Dex is here. Um, can I just leave the car here? No, wrong button. There we go. This is Dexter the Sean here then. No, there's awesome. definitely some interesting characters in this. I didn't Yo, have to. Go, I didn't have to go in the car. No, pleasure. it's all right. Dexter the Sean in the flesh. It's just blocking the road Ample now. indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. His hand. Mind if I ask you something right off the bangle? Would you rather live in pieces, Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? Uh, I don't they remember you, that's all that counts. Mr. Nobody's don't survive in Night City. It's some sort of test. 
Uh, as I say, we try and do everything naturally. How oh, they remember you is that all that is, that is that's all that counts. It's first place or no place, Dex. Cost isn't a factor. Gotta go out on top. <laughs> Classic. I'd expect nothing less from eager, supple youth. I don't know if there's a Respect. wrong answer there or not. <laughs> all right, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav home. Why the show? Hang on. I got a question of my own now. Why all this, Dex? Why me? Could have had Jackie or T-Buck sitting here. Could have just done this on comms. Call me old-fashioned, but I like to look anyone I do biz with in the eye. Had the pleasure of meeting the Jackster in the past, and Sweet T-Bug helped this brother out two years ago. So here we are. Besides all that, got a special little pre-mission just a for pre -mission. you. A pre-mission. But we'll get to that. Who are we now? Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. A biochip to be precise. Job's to grab it. Simple. Yeah. Guessing it belongs to a corp. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no so problem. So we're going to go and steal a chip, essentially. Um, that's not a problem. No, we can do it. <laughs> Corps don't deserve special treatment. Shit, <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of eddies. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolving that. Second, a rendezvous. Simple. Client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the Two parts through this. Um, what's the issue with the Maelstrom boys? What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. Got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. So there's 30 to 40 active members now, of see, Maelstrom. Convoy was carrying the flathead, a little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high grade military tech. There's definitely a lot to take in with this. If we don't this. get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, AKA Royce, plain dropped his ass. So basically took Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this ship's from one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Okay. Uh, blue first. Royce guy. What's he like? A straight psychopath. Chrome-loving kind. Big club in this town. I'll give you that. Except few of its other members. No matter the stakes, would put a friend and associate through an industrial microwave dryer. Apparently, first thing to burst are the eyeballs. Get a nice clear. Wow. Pop. Then the rest goes goulash. <laughs> Who's the prima donna? Corpo agent, internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter. So she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Well, she's getting desperate. Of course, there must be so, you you'll need that frazzled thing. cat's info. Sending it now. Why? Well, let's ask about the client. Client? What's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End of convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Essentially us. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. Jaggy's the muscle, essentially. 
think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. So we can, we've got to go meet Miss Parker, and then we've got to go down and do with Flathead. Quiet life or blaze of glory? Hmm? Later now. Right. Well, we've got our instructions. We know what we need to do. So, street cred. Performance and actions will reward you with street cred. Build your street cred to make a name for yourself in the nights of the underworld. Doing so will open up new opportunities. And we have, I think we've just leveled up as well. Jackie Wells is calling. Dexter, talk to Dex. <laughs> Gordito's a big deal. Literally a nod, yeah. Uh, he was out to run me over. Guy certainly knows how to protect his biz. Wants to put us on a few small kinks. Prep work, I guess. Before aligning us up a big job. There's this combat bot, this is military prototype. Maelstrom clept it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. I right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. That sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deets of some Militech agent, too, but... I don't know how much help she stands to be. Uh, let's see if he knows anything about Royce. Royce. New leader. What do you know about him? He's fucking whack. Something special. Chunky snort chunk. Royce snorts chrome. Then there's the other thing. Got to meet the client who put the job on the table, Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. They must know what he's doing. So, how you want to play this? I think we should meet Bell's the client first. Was first. Because the more information we have, the better. Before we go and do with Maelstrom. So let's meet the client Parker. first. I think I ought to see her first. See what she's like, what she's after. Orale. In that case, I'll hit the all foods. Put my nose to the ground. Let's hope when Jackie gets more info. So we're gonna go to Jackie's bar between 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. Um We have that's I'm critical of the maps. How far are we gonna go for this? So what are these? The gift, retrieve the pin quick hack from the net runner. So these are all missions as well, aren't they? We've got a bit of time before we need to go there, and there is a mission just here. So, in my eyes, we should probably go and do that now. That's a different... Oh, there's another Ripper Dock there as well. Um, yeah, since that's there, we might as well go and do it now. Which one's that? The gift. Uh, retrieve the ping quick hack from the Netrunner. T-Bugs is probably the last place you want to do presents. She's not the kind of gal who goes around buying novelty coffee mugs. Okay. So, let's track that job. Since it's right next to us anyway, and we'll go and do that first. Um, we can also do some level ups here. Let's have a look. We were going to increase up cybernetics, weren't we? Um, that way we can hopefully get more cybernetics. So uh, if we add a point to that, let's do another point. And then we've got two perk points available as well. So we can now do, what's this one? Glutton for War, 5% instant recharge of health items and grenades after neutralizing an enemy. Or Gearhead, Vehicle Health. I don't really want any of those, to be fair. Um, how do we unlock these, then, is the question. Oh, it requires... We need uh, technical ability to be 9 to do these ones, then, essentially. By the looks of things. Uh, reflexes, we need to be four. Body, we need nine again to get these any higher, although we can do some body ones now. Health regen rate while sprinting is 60%. 10% um, health regen rate for each nearby enemy. Health regen rate by 1% for each percent of missing health. Uh, blood pump, cyberware, mitigation chance. And um, vehicle. How much driving is there in the game? Because we get there's lots of driving perks you can have. Automatically highlights nearby access points and cameras. Do you know what? I like the look of that. 
ram recovery rate. We want to try and use cybernetics, I think, quite quite a lot. So that's a quiet eye in the sky. Um, explosion damage, force kill cipher. And let's do optimization as well. There we go. That's all our upgrades done. So I'm going to quickly throw in a quick save, mainly because I like to save often where possible. And I do love a manual save. So we're going to go to this person then to retrieve a quick hack. Uh, I think I've got to go underground. I think that's why it's saying to go that way. What's Victor Vector? Uh, hey, V4 just occurred to me. Can't start your career in the major leagues right by sporting some rag of a t-shirt. The wind blows a lot stronger up here, there, on the top of the world. Old timers like me hate to watch you kids catch gold. Left you a couple of things in your stash of your apartment. Give me an honest try, and bet they'll fit just right. So he's gave us some clothes, essentially, then. Uh, why are you a bajillion ladies already? No way I can accept another gift. Yeah. I think having two saves in case you get corrupted. Oh, really? You get corrupted and so... Okay, fair enough. Yeah, we'll, we'll do two then. That's not a problem. I hope you don't think these Karoshes were charity. Anyway, they were asking to find a home for these things. Okay, cool. Right, so he's left us some clothes as well. What's his message? Mind you, when the Eddies have already changed hands between me and my esteemed partners, 10,000 uh, Euro dollars is paid already with Maelstrom. Don't let them try to shake you down. Okay. Uh... You need it, that's the look. Okay, uh, that's all I messages dealt with. So, this is okay, that's Victor's message done with. So, we've got Texas to deal with as well. Uh, let's try and follow where this wants us to go. Like I say, we're here, we might as well grab it, and we have a bit of time before. Um, we need to go and meet the uh, client anyway. Right, so we need to go down in here. Is that the right way? No. Ah, we need to go up. So much, there's a lot to go going on, isn't there? You're soft like to redo. Oh wow! Yeah, that's not good. Okay. So what have we got here? So this is a story by the looks of it. Uh, I do like I do generally read everything, so I might as well not change my habits. Uh, chapter one: The Apocalypse. His, ne his name was Roche Bartmus. Everyone knows who destroyed the first net. The real question is why. Netwatch branded him a criminal and outlaw. The media called him a madman. Is the other label correct? You be the judge. Below is a previously unpublished letter which Bart Moss put out just before the release of Rabbids. Why has this document only just emerged? Well, someone out there did not want you, my dear readers, to have no eyes on it. All the more reason to deep dive into the information available to us. Oh, so it's an article essentially then. Maria Jimenez. The first net was supposed to save us. It would serve as a platform for those who had a voice. It would offer unlimited knowledge to those who hungered for it, bring a fractured humanity closer together than ever before in our, in our history. But these hopes are hollow, false. The net spread its tendrils around the globe faster than anyone could have predicted. Before anyone could even consider the full range of consequences, this information superhighway turned out to be a path straight to hell. We were robbed of our privacy, deprived of our free will, stripped of our dignity. It was supposed to save us. But now even the net itself cannot be saved. It's moulded by the corpse, with sharp edges, spikes and traps at every corner. Think of the net as a stream of water that flows gently into our minds, before freezing, swelling and destroying us from the inside out. Remember this about ice, as hard as it may be, surprisingly brittle, on well-placed strike and is shattered into a million tiny pieces. Watch out today and you'll see just what I mean. Fair enough. Interesting story. Uh, this is the person... Uh, how does this there? work? Any punk off the street can waltz in here, grab some shady running soft? No, not just any punk. 
Over the counter, we fix cyber decks. But if you come recommended and you know what you are looking for, so I'm how do you sure get soft lock then? What I don't I don't really know exactly what that is. Uh, T Book sent me another program. Said, he, said you'd have something for me. Your V, right? We are indeed. She had me hold the demon for you. It should work on any third gen deck. Uh, I think that's what we've got, isn't it? A Militech power line. Got a Militech power line. I think it'll do. Mm. Solid gear. For a beginner. For a beginner. <laughs> okay. Glad to grab a demon always. You could test it now. I have an access point. If you'd like, that is. I don't know what you might is. extract some shim soft or subroutines. Seems worth a try, either way. Okay. Uh, so the free gift is this one here, isn't it? Yeah. Covert quick hack. Untraceable reveals enemies and devices connected to the local network. Okay. Uh, that's free. Um, these ones all cost money. And at the minute, I don't think it's worth spending money. But these are all different... Um, Crafting specs. Covert quick hack lures an enemy to your current position. Some of these actually look really useful, but I don't also don't want to spend money at this point just in case. I still want to know what the explanation point there is. Why is that there, and why can't I get rid of it? Um, okay, I think that's everything. Equipping quick hacks in your cyber deck. Your cyber deck is limited capacity for quick hacks, but you're free to swap out which ones you have installed on it whenever you wish to do so. Inventory, the tier of quick hack, okay. So the quick hack we just gained is in our inventory. Select the cyber deck. And these are our mods that we can add in. This is all quick hack, so you need to first select it from the list. Select the quick ping quick hack. Okay, so these are our current mods that we have currently. Um, we can short circuit. It's a combat quick hack. Does does electrical damage. Um, reboot optics, resets detection progress of target enemy in combat, overheat, sets the enemy on fire, and now ping, so we can use that, and that will ping people around us. Okay. Upload ping. So if we... That's there. And then we execute ping. And then that shows everyone connected to the network. Use your personal link to connect to the access point and hack it. Hang on. Oh, it's that? That's the access point there. What I do? I've done something wrong, haven't I? Ping there. I mean, okay, I'm confused. Go to it. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, I was trying to work out what a way into local network. So you do the camera, and that pings the, lo pings the access point to the local network, and then we can jack into lo local network. So I'm guessing see through screen cameras. Okay, uh, we've got 45 seconds to breach. Extract your, okay. 1C and 55. But it depends. Okay, I, okay, I see how this works. Uh, 1C is there. Uh, I've got to select one of these next, don't I? Did it? There we go. I'm not entirely sure how I did it, but I did it. Basically, you had to put 1C and 5.5 five in, didn't you? And then you had to make it work. There we go. Mission complete by looks of things. So we've gained a new ability, essentially. Which is ping. Um, yeah. So we can ping different locations. Right, what time are we on for? 4.26. We might as well head to the bar then. Ready to meet Lizzie. Um, 
my thinking is we should probably drive there to be fair I don't generally drive in most games because I prefer to see what's around us I think tend to find more things out if you're on foot there is actually also things here it's not here so these are all places we can buy food down here what else have we got so we can ping the TV there if we wanted to I, mean, I think we'll stay on foot I'd prefer to be on foot just so I can just see what's around rather than driving I'm assuming we're going to need to use a car a fair bit though by the looks of things although how far is it Should I, am I better off driving I suppose it's a fair distance uh, what have we got there? Find the ring in Kabuki. Oh, that's a fight one, isn't it? Drop point used for selling. <sighs> Part of me thinks we're better off driving, actually, to be fair. So I can call our car to us. Cool vehicle. There it is. I'd say I normally walk just because you I tend to see more, but if it's miles away, we're probably better off driving, to be fair. You can switch camera. I don't know if that's any better, to be fair. Actually, that is, I think, is that better, or should we be in car? What do you guys think? In car or back behind it? I don't know what the speed limit is, to be fair. Probably speeding at this point. Uh, we need to take a left turn in a minute. I'm trying not to hit anyone else's cars as well. Can I turn left here? Can't turn left, can I? No. I need to get off this road. Shooter. I think I just made someone crash behind us. You think our car's better? Right, we're gonna park up anyway, I think. I'm assuming I can just randomly park the car anywhere. Right, this is where we need to go and meet Lizzie anyway. Or oh, where Lizzie's bar, sorry, not the per Lizzie's not the name of the person. Uh, we are an hour early. I'm guessing I can wait. We're closed right now. I did see an option to to move time forward. To be fair, uh, where was that? I'm sure I saw a way of moving. Skip time. There we go. So we want to wait until yeah, 6:48 will do. Okay, now that that should be open. Uh, from Barnabas Collective, first will come the Great Rihanna check, which us in the future. Okay. Right, we should be able to go in now. Looking a little put out there, input. Interest you in a preem BD? I don't know what that means. What do you got? What don't we got? Women and men of your dreams. Synaptic acting A-listers, no washed up virtue porn boy toys or blow up dolls here. Okay. Oh, tour stuff. <laughs> It'll grip your heart and blow your nerves right out of your body. Pure bit-based ecstasy. That's You're surprised I you follow the law. I, I, to no be fair, I always try to when I drive in, in any game. I always warning. try and follow the rules I'll give you one word. to a degree. Bespoke. Not for everyone's synapses. Think you can handle it? Uh, yeah. Bespoke? Damn, that sounds promising. I get it, I'm in. Mm-hmm. I don't Couple know what I've just agreed to. to know first. <clears throat> Severe penalties for any unauthorized recording. No drugs, no groping. Someone catch your eye? You do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. I really look that green to you. Like I don't know. Mm-hmm. Doors open. Well, we got inside. Fun <laughs> Welcome to Lizzie's. I'm not sure I want to. 
to be fair. Why right, this is a safe area. What do we got there? The mocks. Uh, the mocks. It's one of those stories that is very simple and very complicated depending on who you ask. For Janice, the mix of both. The mocks came to exist because it had to. We didn't have a soul in our corner, no one to make sure street justice was on our side, so we took matters into our own hands. The, the mox is composed of the people who, if any of them disappeared from the streets tomorrow, we might never even notice. Sex workers, endless artists, aimless rebels, and restless souls who weren't dealt a fair hand in life. Today, the mox is thriving, as demonstrated by the booming visit this is bar. This is renowned for being arguably the best brain dance club in Night City. Corporate suits, gang goons, pop stars and locals alike all gather at Liz's to kick back, have a drink and dip into the most beautifully scrolled and tuned BDs you've ever experienced. Most customers, however, are oblivious to the fact that the club is gang owned and operated, that the mocks are in charge, watching after their own. It's like the, the Lizzie of legend once did. You know the story? Lizzie used to work here back when it was just a typical dive for the stripper pole. Janice proudly explains. She took care of the girls, made sure Eddie's were falling into their pockets and their teeth weren't falling to the curb. Like this one time, now, for those that don't know me particularly well, the F word I don't say um, for several reasons. One, it's not the best word to use, but also I actually can't pronounce it. So because of that, I won't, I'll skip it where possible, okay? Um, rather than just miss it, I thought it's better to explain. So uh, this person was having too much fun with one of the girls and Lizzie couldn't stomach it anymore. Story is she deprived the worm of his little tiger balls so quick and nasty it took them two days to clean up all the blood. Oh wow. Of course the claws found out fast and they flatlined her in a flash but everyone that she had impacted in some way they're still around. They come together, fought back and well you already know the rest. Okay. So the, the bar is gang owned essentially. Right, where is the person we need to meet? Set the bar and ask for Evelyn. Hey. Get you something. Uh let's ask about Lizzie, I'm curious. So curious. The name Obviously Lizzie. we just read about Lizzie. Is that the owner? Not for a long while, no. And it's none too sweet a story. Now I'm just flat interested. Real Lizzie ran a strip joint. Oh, he's actually going to tell us about the, the store day. we just read as well. Lizzie's bar. Girls were paid right, insured, even had decent security. Good spot, all in all. Uh, until. Let me guess. It didn't last? No. Tiger Claws took care of that. Tiger beat one of Lizzie's girls real bad once. So, you surely, if we read no this, so then we had this happened Lizzie earlier with the, balls off. The, uh, the, the guy who gave us cybernetic. Day. Liz was done. You say Tigers one thing to them, to the, the next question the forgets we've asked that first one. Sort of. Which is a shame, really. Mox has had to make a deal with them. I think a lot of Luckily, games they kept tend heads, to forget that kind of element of things. If you've asked a Big question or read something, Q, surely by now we should be saying out of respect. We know the Biz story. Booms to this day. But for some reason we can't. I'm looking for Evelyn Parker. You know if she's here. Who's asking? Yeah, that, that that's my issue, Growen. And it happens in so many games, though. We can tip him. Oh, we can tip. Uh, I don't think I can tip. I'm not fine. You gonna say something? Maybe. Name's v. She and I. So if we had a, some. Uh, I don't know what that was, but we could have well, tipped v, him essentially. I'm Mateo. Uh -huh. but yeah, a lot of games so, don't have that element to it. The only one that Tons I know big. that does is uh, uh, Don't really wait. Yeah, the Witcher. For you. The Witcher it's Wild right, Hunt. Mateo. If you had had a conversation right, with someone. The next time you spoke to someone else about that, they'd know you had that conversation. And that it did really well. Along with other things. But um yeah, Evelyn a lot of games Parker. don't do that part for some reason. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Okay, so she's the person who did the job. Why not say hello sooner? I wanted to get a good look at you first. I'm also not a fan of drinking in games because you end up getting drunk. Um I don't have enough intelligence. is that intelligence? I'm glad I can check this while we're doing it. Uh, what is the... Oh, it's reflexes. I think... Is it? Yeah, reflexes. So I don't have enough reflexes to well, say why we're meeting here. What do you think? 
Uh, let's talk business. Mind if we talk about the job? You go and go and show us what's often. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Mm. Having that choice, you know here. what's extra. Come if you don't want to, if you don't want to know all that, you can skip it we'll by asking the, the main, main question. Anyone I do like asks, that as well. We're not here. I'm always one of those people that ask everything possible, just so we can learn as much so, as possible. What can a whole yeah, I generally won't drink in games if we don't have to because I hate how they you? make people drunk. Drunk drunken games. It just doesn't interest me. Uh, we're in the VIP room. He wants us to sit down. Right, let's, let's talk about the job then. Why she Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. Okay, so we can do that one. I'm the best. And I apologize for checking what they mean, but I don't know what the different symbols are currently. So our call is five. So because I called his five, we can actually say I'm the best, but we can't do that one. You don't care what Dex thinks because our reflex isn't high I'm enough. waiting. Uh, don't know well. I've worked. To be fair, because we've got that, let's do it. I'm good at what I do. Got we've got the option to do, to do a conversation Never piece a job. because of our level in something. You do and we're realize sure we I use expect it. more of you than hey, Dragon Age one for this. like seven options, but the top always. I oh, really much, much more. Yeah, that's not I'm the best. Good. It's an, I like the way you actually into. know what's going to carry on the conversation clear. and what's actually. Job's high risk. By the way, you work together long? No. You and Dex? We haven't. We've only just met him. <laughs> uh, again, you are in Dex. So we can use our call to ask us different option. I think if there's an option to do that's because of your level, I think it's definitely one to do. I'm waiting. You're writing Dex's bio. Hate to disappoint, but. I just don't know much. This is In other that, words, you hardly know each other. Yet he fingered you for this job. Huh. I'm sure my reflexes match with the other options, to be fair. Let's cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arisaka. Making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. So I'm assuming mm -hmm. we're still in the prologue as well. Arasaka's aren't we? poured billions into personality transfer technology. We've got about half an hour of the stream left, so we'll see how much more we get done. On this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? Uh, no. Classy Corp hotels? Yeah, no. Out of my price range. Hmm. Well, the decor's to die for. The, the chip that she wants is in a hotel. Where's this chip hiding exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? He's in town? Thank you, like what I was the screen sheets? The media couldn't get enough of Yori coming to Night City. It was all over the headlines. Anyway, he's heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son. What? So Arasaka Jr.'s planning to grab the reins while in Night City? Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Telling me you're one of them? Uh, okay, we'll ask, always ask the blue before we ask the yellow. So we're not jumping the corp. We're jumping Yorinobu Arasaka himself. The job act sounds even more risky now Yorinobu with no disinformation. Is a puppet. He lost all his cards years ago when he Zeno, failed to good do morning. How are you? bidding. Well, at least that's what I'm going to say. Saburo's had Yuri's balls and advice for years. He might just yeah, I think it's definitely one of those games, though, though that by the sounds of things has redeemed itself no massively. But I hope you're well, Zeno. Top dog like Yorinobu's bound to have an army on call. Hotel's probably a goddamn fortress by now, too. Yorinobu keeps exactly no hustle what? around. Not one guard. He doesn't have a guard. Got rid of them a long time ago. Huh. Well, that makes Why things that? a bit easier. Surely I'm not too bad, thank you. They're not too bad. Arasaka Into. Sneeze in Night City, and a blossom drops from a cherry tree in Tokyo. Yorinobu was convinced his Arasaka security detail reported directly to his father. Okay. Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. She must have a plan. Now, this should make your prick perk up. 
Yorinobu recently swiped the chip. The thing is, it was made to PS5, wasn't it? But the, for some He's reason, made they made it watch. compatible with the four. But Aims it was a bad move. Have you? But the only reason they did it was because at the time you couldn't get PS5 very often, could you? In the wild, and because of that, they had Wait, to make it compatible with the four. Mixed but, up in this. From a sales point of view, Netwatch provides but it's net the worst security thing they for all corporations, and collects eddies in the millions for it. But in this day and age, everyone's in the game. And no one can afford to be a saint. To win, one has to go all in. Well, from what I've heard, they've definitely redeemed themselves. So, so far, I'm really enjoying it. I think, it I think the game itself Unimportant. is very well crafted. You focus there are on issues, the but every game has issues in what some way. What cyberspace's watchers and protectors offer him? Intelligence on his enemies? That doesn't matter in the least. Because you'll make sure the transaction never happens, and I get the chip. So the guy we're going after doesn't have any security. Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device, because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now, where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is... You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. Uh, Mr. Burnout over here, 70 hours in PS5. Wow, nice. 70 hours, that's pretty good. Uh, what's I'm on waiting. the running? One more thing. Data that's on the chip. What is it? Irrelevant. I was say, if anyone wants to, thinks we we're should turn the new to off, just let me know. I'm, 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 I'm I've left it on. I don't what's it's more, easy. he wants to pass it on to Netwatch. Sounds pretty damn relevant to me. Listen, V. The relic. That's my concern. Your concern? Earning a paycheck. I like the fact they're getting patient get if you take done. too long to make a choice. I'll on make sure your bank well. accounts are sated. Well, what else you know, know about, about Yorinobu? Quite a bit, actually. He studied more we know about the target, and biotech the in Tokyo. <laughs> Probably didn't have a choice in the matter, come to think of it. Saburo was grooming him to be his successor. <laughs> He's gonna make a joke, do you? But hey. then Yorinobu make a joke, it's all good. to chase his own dreams. Cut himself off from the corp for years. Long story short, though the black sheep returned, the bitter taste remained. But that's only one side of him. There's another. An intelligent man who has always walked his own path. And so has his own designs on the corp. Uh, maybe he's just got a taste of power. Could be another power-hungry corpo dick, like so many others. <laughs> Ever tried to imagine what life might be like for an emperor's son? You have everything, yet you are no one. Nothing. At least as long as you remain in Saburo Arasaka's shadow. I... sympathize. It's a vulnerability I understand well. And one you plan to exploit fully. Absolutely. Okay. Right. What's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Okay. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. <laughs> Think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits, jacking off to in those boxes. Go no. Would you? Like it can be a very like useful tool. Good for analyzing details, human perception, even boosted, doesn't grasp. Exactly what you need. So what's on the tape? Yorinobu's suite. The glorious interior. Ah, okay, so she's gonna show You'll us You'll need the to suite. locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Hold up. Mean to say you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? Uh, so you know him personally. It's supposed to be Yorinobu's pad on the tape. It means you were inside. You know each other? How else could I get all this intel? I know him pretty well, She's sleeping actually. With him, we have an arrangement. No worries, Gwen. Thank you for joining us. Perfect. Much appreciated. Let's see this brain dance. And thank you for the conversation as well. Um, Judy will help. Have a good time at work, and hopefully too. we'll see you again soon. Besides, we go back. I've meant to follow her. They go back v, years, do they? This is important. Judy's always been there for me. Always helped out. I trust her. But she's a mox, not the latest member of your crew. Try not to forget. Okay. So, 
You'll be a good boy. Tread lightly. And keep that tongue on a leash. Thank you, Graham. But Wags, believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. <clears throat> hey, there you are. This is V. He's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. Gonna make me barf. Okay, so we can't use one of the options. But quite the setup because we haven't got the right stats. Need all this to process brain dances. Mm-hmm. Analyzers, sensory SIG amps, acoustic and emotive wave monitors, facial expression translators. <clears throat> Judy. So I just pull with scanner right. and actually get the information up. Compiled your beauty yet. What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw, but yeah, ought to do. Mm-hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So let's calibrate. Tune it to him. Okay. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. You should see the jig jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So we drop V inside. Let him look, let him rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? No, nope, never. Uh, no. Nope, look, never. I'm no BD virgin, but the raw stuff? Uncharted territory. Relax. So I'll explain you know, everything. Every it's less complicated than it sounds. Wow, that's quite, that Sit says down. something, Zuna. It definitely in, says something. And we'll get you going. Right, let's go and see what a brain dance is, shall we? Definitely a well used chair. Create your sensory profile first. Uh, a what profile? A what profile now? A model of your perceptions and emotional responses. Need to adjust that so the raw BD won't overwhelm you. If I don't, best case scenario, you'll get nauseous as soon as you're in. Probably barf like you would in a shoddy virtue enviro. Mm hmm. And worst case? Your synapses sizzle like locusts in a deep fryer. <laughs> but we're not about to let that happen. Yeah, don't want that to happen. Okay, hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. Now sit still, look at me. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingling. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I felt on the controller. Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory six. Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. Uh... Am I gonna have to do this calibration dance every time? It's like Fifth Element. Not necessarily, a... but it's worth the wait. Let's see, kind of flash like the panel. Oh, I really exactly wow. Be the it's like Fifth Element. One more sec. Need to get the pain. It just, it, it, I just like how responsive the controller is. I mean, you can understand now okay. on the PS4 version. Obviously, you don't get that feedback need in to the test controller. Your profile first. But that adds so much to it. BD. You can use it to get to know the editor. Now let me see. Where could we? Can't he just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks? Sides won't take a sec. Got something here. Should be perfect. Uh, okay, uh, what'd you choose? What'd you choose? Corner store hold up in Haywood. So by the sounds of Real it, amateurs. these don't are even know where tutorials I got it. as well. Suits our needs perfectly though. I'd, I'd prefer to do tutorials to so actually learn these things. Let's do, Boot let's it start up. it and see what we have to do. Mm -hmm. Let me give you the tailored version first. Let you get your bearings. Then we'll jump into editing mode. There's nothing worse than trying to do something I have no clue what you're meant to do. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. So in someone else's memory, aren't everything we? Everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Yeah, this is someone else's memory, essentially. 
down. Everybody, on the ground. I want to see you kissing the floor. We're not controlling Money. them. We're just now, viewing it. Now, I will fucking drop you. I swear to God. Whoa. Well, and then hey, uh, I think we can edit now, it afterwards. Before I blow your fucking head off. So these ah! two. Slow, deep breaths. Your cortisol and adrenaline spiked, but the soft activated your hormone blockers. Nothing happened. You're alive and well. Uh, could have warned me. That flash of... So basically, as the guy shock. who robbed the store left the store, he was shot. Still feel it, and that was the intense thing we had. Fuck, that last second. You could have warned me how much it hurts to die. Trust me, real death hurts much, much more. So in a brain dart, sure if you die... You'll be fine. While you're viewing Let what they're seeing, up. it hurts Let's you. Switch over to editing mode. So what, what do we edit? Is the question. I'll sever the link to the BD roller's sensory array. You'll be able to look around freely. Whole scene's yours. Full so in brain editing mode, you analysis can move the mode, camera so freely around, around the scene. In and out, whatever else you come up with. Okay, so now we can see the whole sandbox. scene. So, analysis mode, you control playback, can even pause when you feel the need. Then you use the editor console to unpause. Try it. Okay, uh, so play. Simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out, and we sell the BD to those psycho freaks. I'm paused. In the studio. Got it, got it. Dream as hell, right? Okay. Well, that's not all. You can speed things up or rewind, whatever you like. Give that's it a no try. Real, so. Rewind. Roll it back to the top. All good. Neat. Now try fast forwarding a bit. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't create. Okay. You can also reset the recording. That'll take you right back to the beginning. Try it. Now for some fun. This here's why you came in the first place. In analysis mode, you get to view and even scan. Right. So this is why we need to use the analysis BD mode. Roller. Focus on the heat. The gun this gonk gets from his buddy at the beginning. Now scan it. Okay, so we can only scan the clue during moments when it's perceivable by the person recording the brain, da brain dance. So let's Plan fast simple. forward. Do nothing odd. You we we'll wait for him to give him the gun. From the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. So he's about to give him the gun now. In a second, why not? Okay, on you go. Okay, right there here. There you go. Bold sex on the track indicate a scannable clue. The clue will be highlighted for the duration of the sequence the editor is set to the correct layer. Clues may overlap each other. The spot where they overlap on the recording track will be especially bright. After, we, after being successfully scanned, clues disappear. So we have three different things there. We have a visual layer, a thermal layer, and a sound layer. So there'll be different clues either visually Firmly or by sound. Excellent. Let's move on. So that was our clue. Now heads up. In analysis mode, you can ferret out background noise and conversations if the roller got close enough. This tech records everything, every little detail, even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware of. To see the sources of the recorded sensory signals, switch to the audio layer in the editor. Go ahead and try that now. So that's the order to the okay, uh, audio there. Now you should see several sound signatures in the store. Choose one and hone in on it. Oh yeah, there's two there. So there's a sound over there. Okay. Fuck! On you go. Ah, little shitheads! Go restock. I'll take the register. So How we're, we're hearing that dicks, from inside. Eh? So, any thoughts? Unbelievable. Seriously. Like what's happening it's right really next cool. to me. really cool what you can actually yeah, do. It's how BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks them, makes them pop. Keep playing with the sound, explore it a bit. We'll move on when you get bored. So yeah, the other sound here is there. Go I'll take the, the register. register. And a how of about you me. suck a bag of dicks? Okay. Eh? We have a deal today on two flavors. Cody and Surf and Tony. Everybody! I'm leaving signal range. Sometimes you can analyze extra layers in the raw. Stuff the roller's cyberware picked up. 
I'm assuming like that's what? a thermal layer. Ev's got Kiroshi optics that grab infrared. Yeah. Meaning you should be able to grab heat signatures from her recording. Huh. <laughs> Hello, nice. Now let's wait till the guy punches out the gonk at the counter. So we gotta we gotta keep going until he does what he does at the counter. So. On the ground. Wanna see you kissing the flooring? Money. Scanning works on peeps too. Walk up to the wounded chick. Try scanning her. So we can scan the lady. All right. Next thing. Scroll forward to the part where our artist gets a lead injection. So we're going basically to the yeah, end, aren't we? Bro, we'll fucking drop you! I swear to God, what? Your teeth are now. Come on, come. Uh, play from there. See that? There we it go. Shot him, and he never saw it coming. But you will. Here it comes. So now My we. My favorite part of the game. Ah, okay. See the blinking thing over the entrance? Surveillance cam. Must have caught our shooter. You'll see in a sec. Cam feeds to the screen behind the clerk. Roll back to where the screen's in the kid's field of vision, then scan it. Okay, so we need to rewind into his back of the counter. And then there should be a screen behind the clerk, essentially. Oh, there. His own Joomba Oh, shot okay. So the guy he was working with to rob the store was, the one, nice was, was the one who shot him. Market for a BD like this. BD freaks are ready to pay a preem for a real flatline. Anyway, if you've seen enough, you can exit. Yeah, so there's a lot you can do in a brain dancer. Uh, this game did a specific thing I need to mention. A lot of the modern yeah, games and characters and writers right? make you roll your eyes crazy. Too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging them. Okay, up. that's really good, yeah. Anyway, you ready to do this? Look at your wreck? No way. We may have to overrun the stream a little bit. We've only got about 10 minutes left and Still I don't know like how long it's going to take. Oh, yeah. I think I'm done. Oh, he doesn't want to do it. V, there's no time. Get it together, please. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Just need T-Bug to link in. Whoa, 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 who? Runner for my crew, security specialist. She'll tell me what to look for while we analyze. No problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Why is it a problem? Not what we agreed, Ev. Evelyn, I won't get a damn thing out of this without T-Bug. Judy, please. I thought speaking to her, he she's the one who wants the job done. In? What part of that don't you understand? How do I know she'll only perch in this footage, observe, not fuck with anything? Me. I'm your guarantee. We could have spoken yeah, to Judy directly, right. but I thought Help me. the person this making, making the job happen is probably more important person. I promise everything will work person. out, just like we planned. Okay, V. Call T-Bug and we'll dive in. Okay, we got it to agree. Judy agreed. Hey, V, what's happening? Bug, listen, I got some useful footage from Kunpeki Plaza. It's a brain dance. Kunpeki? Oh, thought as much. Someone there with you? Uh, Judy yeah. and Evelyn, they're well, chill. to be honest, I've got no reason to lie to T-Buck. Uh-huh. All right. You gonna tell me what this is about? Listen, need your help. Got no clue what to look for once I'm in. All right, so yeah, that's a massive compliment, Zeno. That says out. a lot about the game. Mm, you've got to give me access. Opening port 1779. Secure protocol? Good, I'm going in. Should be getting my request now. Got it. You ready? A millisec. Okay, connection confirmed. Now some quick tip ice, and we're clear. Ready to dance. Fire up, Judy. Okay. We've learned how brain dances work, and now we're going to find some clues inside the apartment in the hotel. All right, V, eyes open. Got to find out where you're know who's keeping the relic. Let's scan the apartment security system is optional. Watch the whole recording. You look like a cut of fuckable meat. Are you, Helen? The hell's that? Gee, I felt a fear. Sure it is optional to actually watch the whole recording, I and I think we should. No, they'll have my head for this. 
Then you, we'll watch the whole recording and then we'll come back and do the close. But make yourself comfortable. I need a minute. To... Listen in on that conversation, V. Could be something important. Okay. We're going to listen in. So we're going to change to. Um... No, we're going to change layer, don't we? There we go. Audio. That conversation there is what we need. I need a minute to finish. The program is still in the trial phase. We cannot take it to market as is. We shall see soon enough. Please speak with your father. He's taken a particular interest in this project. He can certainly explain the risks. My father's involved. a tired old greybeard who thinks nothing will change. And he'll live forever in his tiny frozen bubble. I should not even be listening to such things. You will listen to this. Saburo is an adult despot. I was moving too far away from, from Evelyn. Reality. Stuck in some fossilized vision of a world that no longer exists. Of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we want now. Read the documentation carefully. The relic requires specific storage conditions. You must Not provide it. them. In Heard that? Relic docs gotta be around here somewhere. Look for them. So before that, there is an optional scan the apartment security system. I think we should do that as well. Um, there's obviously another sound thing to do here as well. So let's quickly uh, change the visual. There we go. There's a clue at the start, isn't there? So let's go back quickly. There's two things at the start to do. So the first one is round here somewhere. So obviously you've got the robot there. What's that? That's the alarm system. Alarm firmware is fresh, but... So we're going to get in, we're going to know these things, yes, don't we? Something about lots of seeds. <laughs> Chipper <-chappy. laughs> Let me generate keys. I can forge their sigs. There we go. So although this was optional, the more information we have, the better. Shit, camera's packed with new tech. Motion sensors, heat sig activators, IFF. You skilled enough to kill it all? Mucho more than enough. Just need access to their subnet. Okay, so that's all the visual stuff done. If we fast forward now, there's an audio bit to do as well. Here. Uh, that one. So is it, is it that sound source there? Here yeah. in the drone. Ventilation and cooling. Servers. Gotta be. Fancy doodads in here need to be controlled. Right. Um, so if we now... I think that's everything for the time being. In the visual layer, scan his data pad while it's turned on. Okay, so we uh, we go out to visual. We need to fast forward. For good cause. Wait, so his data privacy. pad is visual, visible. Wow, champagne's decent. The taste boosted somehow. Existed. Nope, just the price. We have no seen same bubble. You'll be sipping in real space soon. I am quite sure. There we go. His data pad's there. So. It's there, is it not? Or is it. Uh, hang on. There's his phone. His data pad's not on yet, is it? So wait for that. To, we've got to wait for it to go on. Sorry to make you wait. Business. Can be stupid. Hmm. It wasn't long. Not even long enough. Why has he not turned it on board. yet? Is everything all right? You seem tense, edgy. Why have you missed it? It will pass. Hmm. I can get to work on that. Just one condition. You wish to make demands of me. Only one. Focus on me. Right. There's something oh, here. Got any candy left? Stuff was pretty fun last time. So, his data pad is there. Is it off though, currently? I think we missed it, didn't we? 
Okay. When he picks it up here, maybe. Oh, got it. Me can't. Is that not on? Yeah. I thought that would be the point to do it. Candy left. Uh, Steph was pretty. Or maybe it's not on yet. Time. There's there's a clue here in the visual layer. But I can't see. Oh, got any? So his phone's there. I think I'm missing something, aren't I? Ah, there's cameras. And actually, hang on, this clue's up here. So it's not, oh, because I'm looking at what we need to do, I'm not looking around. Look around in free mode. Yeah, I've just got it. There's a turret there. Latest scanner model. The clues are more Systems security options, essentially. Can you shut them off? Externally, no way. Gotta get in, check out how they link into the system first. Mm hmm. Looks yeah. like all their So we've done the optional for the doing the security now. systems. We need the flathead. No other way to shut down these systems. Can't get around them ourselves? Nope. At least I'm fresh out of ideas. Uh. So in the visual layer, we still can't do the data packs. It's not on Got yet, from what I can see. Candy left. Stuff was pretty fun last time. Bedroom, nightstand. I've got an idea. Be right back. What's she doing? Oh, she's changing the lights. Very nice, but come here already. Just a sec. She's going for his emails. For the perfect thing. Ah, oh, you'll like this. Ah, uh, so I, I wonder in this part, his data pad is probably on, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, no, that's his gun. Okay. Loaded. Safety's on. Good to know, though. Once you're in there, don't forget about that iron. So we, we still haven't got his data pad on yet. That was a gun there that we d didn't see otherwise. Right, data pad's on now. This is what we needed. Manual details a special tip controlled container. Relic needs to be kept real cool. So, chip's got to stay in the freezer. Yep, could damage it otherwise. Okay, switch on thermal layer detection in the editor. Should be easier to spot where your Nobu's keeping the chip. Okay, let's scan for thermal clues then. Uh, switch between layers. There we go, thermal layer. So we're looking for somewhere cold, essentially, aren't we? We, uh... That's obviously hot and they're hot. So we want something really cold. But I think we might need to go backwards. You can see the heat there. Oh, no, it is actually forward. The clue is forward. Okay, where's the thermal cake? I can't go too far away from her though, that's anything. See, there was, a, there was a case on there that I thought might be the thing, to be fair. Can we see a case anywhere? So it's in this bit somewhere. And I would assume, because it's thermal, it's going to be dark, I think. Um, where else would it be? Yeah, leave the signal area. Up and down. Ah, got you. 
didn't even think of the bear events and stuff. Model for of this yeah, above maybe go. I didn't even think that. Of that. In the docks, but no way the chip's hiding there. Too risky. Temp fluctuations, risk of damage. Okay. Oh, fuck. It's like I'm really... V, eye on the prize, focus. <laughs> I miss this. You. I know. Okay, so we've got a scan for clues to find. So we oh, haven't found all the clues yet, have we? Wait, you. Wait, you. Wait. So although we found that I one... I miss this. You. Wait. What other thermal clues are we missing? Ah, uh, okay, hang on. Well, we can only save in her signal. Oh, it's hang on. There we go. Champagne and ice bucket. Donaghy's. Looks like Mr. Arasaka had something to celebrate. Really think you'll find the chip in there? <laughs> no way. Tim's too low. Could fluctuate. Nice try, though. Okay. Uh, there was a there was a briefcase on here, was there not? <laughs> Sure, there was a case on here at some point. Um, I can't see anything showing up on the thermal layer currently. Anything on the table? What's this here? That's really cold here. It's a fridge. Just a fancy ass fridge. Okay. Tip doesn't match the guidelines. Won't find a thing here. Is it somewhere near where he walks in over here? Okay, what am I missing? Awesome. Looking for somewhere cold, essentially. They'll have my And the only reason to move her is just so we can be in different places. Can't see anything else. That's cold. Head for this. Ah, oh, there is there's something over there. Right, grab the heat sig. We found it. Matches the spec in the docks. There's no highlight chunk Your on the bar got though. The case here, guaranteed. Mm-hmm. We got it. Good work. Looks like we got everything we need. So we have we figured it out, but there was no there's no chunk on. Yeah, there was no um, thing on the bar. That's why we couldn't find exactly where it was. But we did it in the end. Get everything you need. <sighs> yep. That'll do. Thanks, Judy. We got it. Later, T-Bug. Nice work today. I didn't see, see one there. I didn't see a highlight chunk at all. your data. You were never here. Yeah, I didn't see a single... Well, on the blue bar, I didn't see a single highlight chunk. Otherwise, I would have gone straight to it. Keep it. I'll put it on Ev's tab. Portable device for handling BDs. I already uploaded your calibrations. So now we have a portable device for brain dance. Not as sophisticated as what we got here. We have over on the stream a little bit. We'll save as soon as we can. Out of harm's way. Clever. Speaking of harm's way, know what I see looking at you? Walking, talking corpses. This is a pleasure. Relax. I got it all under control. 
If you fuck up and they come knocking on my door, my wife. Judy, relax. That's not gonna happen. So bad. It's obviously gonna lose out of heart. No shortcuts. You go that route. You tell the second one. Yeah, I, so I, I, yeah, I don't know. So we need to keep an eye out for the highlight sections, don't we? Besides, we'll talk in a bit. I just didn't see one on the blue bar, but I may have missed it. Um, there we go. Let's walk. She wants to walk. So we'll finish this bit before we finish the stream. Um, we are going to be live again tomorrow morning. Well, and continue this. What do you think? Uh, okay. Intel on Yorinobu, the chip, the BD from Compeki. Winds are right. Plan's perfect. A job like this comes one in a million. Hmm. Thanks. Now the punchline, please. Just sounds too good to be true. What's the catch? Cold feet. Are you looking to get out of it? I want to know if you're really in control here. You're not sending me into the sort of shit I can't wait out of. V. I have zero reasons to haze you. We're in this together. Really. Yeah, Trust me got a lot of things to that enjoy. I got this. Yeah, I, I, to be fair, if Zeno kind of thing, that means a lot. That means I'm probably in for a really enjoyable time, to be fair. Which is good. Um, You're not worried? Our I think every game has a few, in, a few bits that people just like for different reasons. Oh, they'll have a long but list yeah, then. So far, packed full of big names. I'm looking forward to it. Much I think it's going to be a long life. playthrough, though. You tell me who they check first. Which I, I doesn't bother me in the Corporal slightest. I enjoy the long play Corporal hotshots and cutthroats? Or a little bedroom plaything like me? I think I see how you know so much about Yorinobu. But yeah, so far so Being good. Simple. As I say, the, Men like the actual controls and the haptic feedback so is incredible. Sex. I really like biz that. And biz only. Uh, you sure he doesn't suspect you? sure anything? Yorinobu doesn't expect this kind of move from you? He's got no idea. Good point. Trust me. He's too busy with Netwatch to give me that kind of attention. Besides, even if some suspicion takes root in his mind, it shouldn't matter. He won't react in time. Yeah, I actually like that name. Well, that's that's how it is. So, what now? V. Do this job for me. I mean, me alone. No splitting the payout with anyone else. Oh. No middlemen. No decks. She wants us to cut decks out. You wanna hate? You wanna fuck over our fixer? I knew something was up. That's not good. Dex is a middleman. And a useless one at this point. We already know he's Definitely paid 10 grand to fixers. the other crew. That's the one rule every merc in this city knows. And actually follows. But if we're smart... Doesn't matter. No. A mistake like that will cost you your rep. Without a rep, you're nobody. You sure you want to do this? Better ask yourself that question. Do you want to spend the rest of your days blasting scabs? Or become a legend overnight? A legend your with choice. people after us, that's the thing. You look into my I think you should. Um, no way Dex trusts me. I think about it. We don't know Dex, to be fair. Let's think about it. If I agree, there'll be hell to pay for sure. I know. Whatever you decide, it stays between I us. Mind it, right? I can offer 50%. Eddie's enough to do whatever the hell you like. I'll be finished. Dex won't forgive a dirt move like this. Dex isn't the only fixer in town. But my offer's the only one you'll ever get. <sighs> Let me think so about it. So we're thinking about it, so we don't have mm -hmm. to do it. We don't have to decide straight away. Call, I'll send you my number. That's the main okay. thing, as long as we don't have to make the decision straight away. <sighs> Screwing go. over a fixer doesn't sound like a good a plan. Few words with Judy. Right, we've leveled up as well. What we'll do is get out of here first and foremost. How are things looking, Mr. V? Turns out Evelyn's recording from Compeki was worth our time. Beautiful. T-Bug already called. Said she's working her magic. And the flathead. Nothing yet. On it now. I don't think I'm meant to be on the stage. No chance of that <laughs> That's the stage that for the girls. To work then, Mr. B. <laughs> yeah, not sure I should have gone that way. There we go. 4 a.m. last night. Okay, we are going to, um, we do need to stop, we are out of time for today. What I'm just doing is leaving the building. 
I can figure the way out of the building. Jackie Wells is messaging us. Uh, Jackie, make a client pay to be the place you're supposed to visit. Uh, yeah. Cool. Right, let's just leave the building and then we can stop and save and do all that good stuff. There we go. Wow, okay, uh, we have got some upgrades to do. Let's quickly do those first and foremost, and then we will be, we're out of time for today. Um, what I've noticed, a few options we couldn't pick because our reflexes weren't high enough. So let's do our reflexes up by one. Because there was a few options there we just couldn't pick um, due to reflexes. Uh, fast you move, effect increases when dashing, dodging, sliding, sprinting. Jump out, slide out of vehicles. Wow. Uh, what do we want? Health regen rate. Uh, sprinting, army of one. I don't really know what I want to upgrade. That's the thing. Movement and crouched mitigation chance. To be fair, that's not a bad shout. Uh, intelligence, what else have we got here? Quick hacks, traceability goes down. Car hacker. Um, explosion damage. Surely reducing the sequence would be good as well, actually. So let's do that. There we go. If we reduce the sequ the amount we have to hack things. So quite a few missions on the go as well. Um, trying to keep the main story moving for the time being. Obviously Phantom Liberty is uh, the DLC, which we'll leave till obviously the end. But yeah, so far so good. But we're out of time. What are we, three? Just on short of four hours in now. We were told to have two saves, so we'll, go, we'll do a double save. Just to be sure. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, we are out of time for this morning. Having a dance. When we went on the, yeah, we shouldn't have been on the stage. Thank you, Zeno. Thank you for joining us. Much appreciated. Enjoy the rest of your day. Um, but that is us, John, for this morning, I'm afraid. We are out of time. Totally enjoying the start. We're nearly four hours in, and I still feel like we're in the prologue. We're right at the start of the game still. Um, I'm sure there's lots more to see and learn and do as we go. Thank you, Grace. I much appreciate um, So yeah, we'll be back tomorrow morning with more Cyberpunk. The vote for next main live stream game will either start this Wednesday or the following. I haven't really looked at it yet. Um, I need to do that and decide when, you know, when to do it. I think we can wait a week or so. I think we've got plenty of time. Plus the Easter holidays coming up as well. Um, but we'll talk about that later on this week. Um, but a massive thank you everyone for joining us this morning for the first stream of Cyberpunk. Very much appreciated. Thanks for the likes, the comments, the views, and the conversation. We'll be back tomorrow morning with more Cyberpunk 2077. But until then, enjoy the rest of your morning. Or your day. I don't know. Where are we? Yeah. Enjoy the rest of your day. And we'll see you in the live stream very soon. Thank you all for watching. Bye bye.